This podcast is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find other great shows on the network, head over to deluxeeditionnetwork.com. That's deluxeeditionnetwork.com. Hey, everybody, this is Chase from Barrel Age Flicks. Go ahead and check out our Patreon for raw, uncut footage and early access to all of our episodes. The link is in the description, and it's only $5 a month. Thanks for listening. Take the next road. Let's see if you can use all that shit. Oh, Fausto, I think we should just keep going. I don't understand what's the big deal. We made a nice little surprise picnic for you. You invited us on a drive, and now you aren't even driving us where we want to go. Dude, you could be a better host. The speeding and reckless evasion will be overlooked if you cooperate now and quietly get in your car and follow me. Clear? Oh, sir, sir, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This may be Valkenvania, but it is still America. And you see, that's not the way things work around here. You're going to have to follow me a ways to the reef. Then it's up to him how we proceed. Reed, the local justice of the peace. Contravention of village bylaw 23, failing in the execution of a full stop at a place so marked, I recommend fine bond and release. <laughs> what else you want to do for him? Bake him a pie? Oh, I will let you be on your way. And oh, when you go, the cat's eyes will spin. Now listen. Okay. We'll listen. Hey, hey, ho, ha, ho. <laughs> hula, hula, hula. The hula, hula, hula. Look who's got the front seats of the Mexican hat dance now. Just like a bunch of spiders in a birthday cake. Wait a minute. What is this shit? Sir, no cussing in court. You blew double drunk within the village limits. You're going with me. Sure. Whatever you say, officer. Say goodnight, copper. <laughs> please. Please, no. <laughs> Don't kill me. Welcome to supper. How about a nice Hawaiian punch? You know, there's nothing better at the end of a long day on the road than a nice warm glass of Hawaiian punch. Does he treat all traffic violators this graciously? Only the ones he takes a special interest in, like bankers. How do you like the dog, folks? They're serving dog? No, no, no. Hot dogs. Dutch country Herefords. Prize winners. <gasps> Hot dog. <laughs> Stadium pranks, you know, like they had before they brought in night games. Oh, you're nothing but trouble. Ooh. Hi! I'm Bobo. That's the little devil. Hi. We're not allowed in the house. No choice but house policy. <laughs> house policy? What's house policy? Well, whatever man touches her is the one she keeps. What? <gasps> what are you talking about? Oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just went through a goddamn stop sign. I just want to get to Atlantic City, please. And at least we all got out alive. Of course, there's nothing left for us here now, so we're all planning to move in with my grandson-in-law. Oh, no. He lives in New York City. Oh, come on, what? No, what? See you soon, banker. No. Ah, what? Ah! No, you won't. Hey, everybody. This is Barrel Age Flicks. I'm Lenny. Yeah, man. And this is... Hey, this is Ron. Let's drink and talk some movies. And this is Stu. Let's drink, motherfucker. We also have Ragnar. Time to nut up or shut up. Let's go. Also, hey everybody, this is Chase. Let's get weird. And special guest. Hey, this is Bildo. Let's take the red pill and see how far this rabbit hole goes. And Lenny. I'm not fucking here, folks. What is up, everybody? Welcome to BAF. Yeah! Yes. Yeah, let's What's, what's going on, everybody? So we are going to be doing the classic, well, I guess this wouldn't be called a classic, but... Uh, it is a fucking classic. Would you say it is? Yes. Classic cult comedy, Nothing But Trouble from 1991. But of course, we're going to be doing the drink, and our guest, Bildo, is going to be introducing the drink that we're going to be trying out today. So go ahead, Bildo. All right, well, I got this drink. It's called Nothing But Trouble. You have a shot of Everclear 151 proof, a shot of Jaeger... And your favorite beer. Everyone here has their favorite beer here. We got Coronas, Guinness. Blue Ribbon, I think. Blue Moon. Oh, Blue Moon, yeah. But if it's what you if do. If your fucking favorite is Blue Ribbon, fuck you. All right. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know you. if that's what he had. I don't remember if it was that or not. Whoever's favorite is, uh, I'm sorry. Fucking PBR, fuck man. Fuck you guys. <laughs> All right. Apparently, that's a popular beer. A lot yeah, of people well, drink it. on a fucking budget. I don't yeah. fucking like it. It's either, yeah, it you're sucks. too fucking poor and you're a goddamn alcoholic, or B, you're a <laughs> so, fucking frat boy loser. No, All no, right? no, no. A fucking it, poser. All it's, right. It's only your favorite if you can walk into the neighborhood and you can tell it's everybody's favorite. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But it's what you do is you light your Everclear on fire, pick up your shot of Jaeger, let the Everclear fall down in your glass, drop the Jaeger in the glass, and just take it one big old gulp. Chug it down. Chug mm-hmm. it. All right, so let's go ahead and try this out. All right, so we're taking the cinnamon and throwing it on the uh, Everclear. Lit up. 
Ooh, Ooh, this drink looks pretty nice, actually. It's pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. You all ready? Nope. Let's do it. All right, so you drop the, uh, you pull the uh, Jaeger up. Pull the Jaeger, you pull the pan on the Jaeger and let it fall. All right, and here we go. Chug it. That's pretty good. My fucking shot glass broke. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I got. That's I got some good more. stuff in your diet, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. That's really good, really good for the teeth. <laughs> 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 Did it really break? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's good. All the, I think all the glass went in the shot glass. So that's all right. So go ahead and take a drink out of that. Got a little uh, foul play here. It's definitely nothing but trouble in that glass. Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No shit. You know, it's fucking delicious, though. It's not bad. It is very good. Actually, you know bad. what? Jaeger in Guinness mm-hmm. was actually really good, and I chugged it. Ooh, that, that's good. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed that. No, Bildo, that was a that was a good choice. Yeah, it was. And it looked beautiful, too, with the fucking sparks on the top of the Everclear when it was on fire. So that, And uh, what was that for, the whole uh, sparks? It, for the end of the movie when everything's blowing on up. fire and blowing up. Yeah. So uh, I, oh, let me see. I guess I would, I would give that two thumbs up. Seriously. I, I would do that again. That, that's great. How about you, Chase? Um, I'm sorry I busted your shit. Um, oh, I'm not worried about it. I got <laughs> plenty of We'll just take it out of your budget. That's yeah. right. It was a free yeah, shot class anyways. No, it's fucking delicious. I dig it. How many, uh, how many thumbs? Um, two thumbs up. Right on. I, I'd do four, five, six of these in a row. <laughs> no, you would do two and be on the fucking ground. Yes, I'd, right. still, you would. I'd still keep <laughs> drink, drinking, my guy. Still keep drinking. I ain't no bitch. How about oh, you, Bill? No, you're going to keep drinking oh. on coming up. I loved it. <laughs> gonna have that a was choice. one of the best shots I've ever had. Really? So how many thumbs you give this? Oh, I'll give that a two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. All right. How about you, Stu? I'm going to give it two thumbs up. It's good. It works with the Corona. Um... It's a it's an interesting combination. It really is. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try it with the Corona because with the the stout, it actually the the Jaeger fit perfectly with the stout. So I actually enjoyed that. Too. That was good. Well, the actual Jaeger fit perfect with the Corona also. <laughs> yeah, it does. It gives it a nice little. Um... Hold on a minute. Did we get a? Did anybody get a picture of theirs lit up? No, I will take one. Okay, I will take a video for that, Instagram. That would have been good. Yeah. So probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a uh, picture on Instagram and we'll, we'll figure it all out. How about you, uh, Ragnar? How's your review? Oh, he didn't like it. He didn't like it. So, all right. So, li- <laughs> hearing what we were fucking drinking tonight, I, I no idea what it's going to taste like. I had it in my head that it's going to taste like fucking Dan Aykroyd smells in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> like a little like penis on the nose. Penis hot dogs. nose that he can pull <laughs> right <laughs> off. Yeah. Which uh, I have I have something to say about that because something's really interesting. But go ahead, Ragnar. I'm going to give it uh... a... <laughs> What the fuck? What are you laughing at? You? No, no. The, uh, the fucking meme came to mind. The old dick face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it a uh, one and a half. One and a half? Yep. So it just didn't taste good for you? I mean, do you think it might be because of the beer? No. Uh, maybe. I don't know. But. Well, yeah, you know what? I, like I said, everybody had it with their own version. I mean, they're basically their own favorite beer, so I, I think it, it comes out differently for everybody. But uh, I don't know. It, like I said, two thumbs up. It was actually a really good drink, and I'm, I was really surprised because I, I didn't know what Everclear and Jaeger was going to be like. You taste the Jaeger more than the fucking Everclear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I just tried it with uh, Stu's uh, Corona with it, and ah, not a fan of that. I think it's better in a stout. You're going to have to try well, it You're also stout. not a big fan of Corona as, as a whole. Corona, yeah, it's not my favorite. I mean, I'll drink so, it, but yeah. it's just not my favorite drink. I'm more of a stout guy. I, yeah. I, I love Guinness more than anything. But uh, I used to be a Miller Lite guy, and now I've kind of gained more grown up. F- ah, well, grown up some? I, I guess so. Yeah. Guinness is so much better. So if you like burnt fucking coffee. Yeah. It doesn't taste like burnt fucking coffee. <laughs> you're the only does. fucking one that says it tastes like burnt fucking coffee. <laughs> Bullshit. Uh, okay, do you guys agree Maybe that it tastes like burnt coffee? Table, but nah, it tastes I love like, it. It tastes like fucking burnt coffee. It, All right. Does it taste like burnt coffee? Guinness? Yeah. No. no exactly. Mm-hmm. See, I, you're the only Unless one that I've ever heard say Guinness, this. Uh, no, I'm, it's, coffee one. No, no. I've It's some military grade coffee shit. All right. No, it is burnt coffee. It is not good to me i understand why some people may like it oh yeah. no I'll, I'll drink it i yeah. well I that's because it, you like but... fucking mexican piss water yes I do. exactly right? yes i do <laughs> he's been drinking that yes, since i've known him uh, i've been drinking that since probably since about the time i got pubes <laughs> 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 to me guinness is just a meal in a can it's a 
That is that is it's a heavy so drink. Thick. Yes, it is. It's so thick. We don't know like, how much you love the thickness. So meaty. Oh my fucking it's god! It's girthy. Mm. <laughs> so, anyways, we're gonna get to our movie now. Nothing but trouble. So, I gotta ask you guys: When was the first time you guys saw this? Because I'm really we have curious. To ask at every fucking movie. Yes, I do. I'm just I'm I'm because god, actually, damn. for this no, one, no, I'm really I'm curious just... because first of all, Chase has never seen this. Well, Chase yeah. is like fucking eight years old. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if he was alive when this movie came out. All right. Actually, I was not. Uh, see, there you go. There you go. He was <laughs> playing around really? in his daddy's balls. Dad, and the dog. <laughs> All right. Jesus, you yeah. were just a fucking thought in the ball. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, I don't I, even think he was a thought yet. Well, I saw I was it. still a mistake waiting to happen. See, I remember seeing this on. Uh, I think I saw this on like Cinemax or HBO or something like that back in the day. Cinemax? No. Yeah. Well, maybe yeah. Cinemax too. Yeah. I don't know. I fucking loved it. I, I don't know why everybody hates this movie. Maybe because I like weird movies. Because to me, this is more of like a dark horror comedy like uh, The Cable Guy, The Burbs, uh, almost a little bit of The Addams Family. It would have been darker if they fucking let it, uh, the, the original cut. cut. You know, yeah. there was supposed to be an R-rated cut of this yes, movie, and yeah. I so much wanted to see yeah. that. And the fact is... is you the, just want to see Demi Moore's boobs. Actually, no. I, mean, fuck I never yeah. found Demi Moore attractive. I've never found her attractive. Really. So, all right. So, Whatever, you, you have to try and compare Demi Moore to Sigourney Weaver with him. Sigourney Weaver well, is hot yeah, to me. Sigourney Weaver would win. All right. I, I'm no, sorry. No. Sigourney Weaver. No, I'm going with Demi. She's Demi. hot. Oh, no, I'm going no, with Demi, too. No, Sigourney I'm, Weaver's pretty. She, yeah, 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 no, she is. No, but, she is, but Demi. Demi she's no Demi, Demi Moore. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's just not a big fan. Look at how they aged. And I didn't like her fucking haircut yeah. in this fucking movie. Nah, fuck the haircut. Yeah. Who gives a shit? The haircut Well, it was right after fucking Ghost. No, yeah, but she actually looked better in that one than she did in this. I, I'm uh, sorry. I, I thought she was that. more attractive I, in Ghost than she was in this. I think she is was that because she had Patrick Swayze. Well, what would you say? She was the better in GI Jane when she's bald. I mean, Patrick Swayze. I mean, you Honestly, can say the same thing about Sigourney Weaver in Alien Three. I, I, I would have <laughs> fucked the shit out of fucking her in goddamn GI Jane. Oh, absolutely. Right. I would have <laughs> let her absolutely. fucking absolutely. All right, that fucking muscly bitch that she was. Yes. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Give me that Sinead O'Connor look. <laughs> <laughs> well, this this movie right here is actually uh, this was kind of. Um, the uh, producers, uh, Dan Aykroyd and uh, his brother and uh, the other producer, I forgot his name, but basically they thought this movie up when uh, they were watching Hellraiser because they were inside the theater and when they were watching Hellraiser, everybody was laughing at the movie. And, and it was why a were they movie. inside the theater? Okay, well, I didn't do that much research. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> is, all right. You're supposed to know this. Oh, you're just no, a huge fan. Hey, no, I am a huge, huge fan. fan. I, I hate, right. I'm still learning they stuff. Went I don't have everything. Because the uh, producer um, had broken ribs, and he's like, all right, I don't want to go to a comedy where I'm going to be fucking laughing yeah. and be fucking hurting myself. Yeah. All he right. Had, he had one broken rib. I thought it was multiple. Okay. But yeah. yeah. But he's like, I don't want to be fucking laughing. All right. <laughs> and he shows up. And they notice a lot of the audience is fucking laughing, you know, at the beginning of a fucking Hellraiser and shit like that. And, like, people want a fucking, you know, a comedic horror. That's what they fucking want. Now, would you say this is a this is a new genre at the time because, like, Reanimator and the Burbs and stuff like that? Also, like, The Cable Guy. Well, although that came out in the mid-'90s, but that's, like, a dark... I wouldn't say horror uh, no, comedy. No, I'm not going to say dark comedy. No, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say dark comedy is the a cable new guy. Genre. No, that is a, it is. But I'm saying I'm not going to say that's a new genre. Yeah, uh, you know they weren't like one of the originators in any way, shape, right. or form. But it made them come to the realization watching that happen. Yeah, how something that even even something that's shot strictly as a horror film, people will still find stuff to laugh at and enjoy. See, um, see, I think this is where it comes into. My generation, I guess you guys keep talking about. <laughs> Your generation. I have never, I don't think I've seen a horror movie that I've not considered comedic. Exactly. And yeah. I think that's the, comes with the oh, no, no, you, nation. No, you're agree. Uh, I happens. agree because yeah. I've been to many theaters where I've seen horror movies and you just see people just <laughs> like busting right, a laugh right. in the yeah. audience. So, like, so it's like you guys are saying, was this the first of a genre? And I'm sitting here thinking, um, no, absolutely not. No, 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 it's not even close. <laughs> not no, even. I'm sure a lot but of people this, laughed at the no, fucking, but this is something that they intentionally made happen. It wasn't people finding comedy in horror. It was, it was something that was created comedy <clears throat> horror. You know, it was with that envisionment. Here, I have a good question for you, though. The thing is about horror comedy is that, you know, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street was more of a horror film. Yeah. But the more movies that they made, like after the third or fourth one, it turned almost into a horror comedy. Once, especially oh, yeah, Freddy, yeah, once, yeah, once they allowed yeah, Freddy absolutely. to start developing. Turning it into more like Looney Tunes characters yeah. and also like fucking playing Nintendo and stuff like that. Yes. I mean, it, it was just turned into that. So absolutely, I, I, think, I think that there house house is another one. Yeah. Yes, well, I think that there went along with the with what was going on. Yeah, along, like with all the other movies that were coming around at that time. Yeah, 
You yeah. know, the, you got to be competitive yeah. with what you're doing. Exactly. So I think you that's, bring why, something yeah, anyway. that's why Nightmare did so well as a series as a whole. It was adaptive. able to, uh, yeah, exactly, adaptive. Yeah. Um, it yeah. was able to read the landscape and it's like, all right, people are wanting a little bit more of this, so we'll give them that. Or yeah. now they want a little bit more of this, we'll give them that. And willing to pivot and change their style, even, you know, um, going from, you know, the original nightmare to going to uh, something, you know, that's outlandish yeah. like Freddy's dead yeah. or well, fucking, Freddy's dead is more of a comedy more than anything. Yeah. yeah. I'm I, saying, I, I think that was just, more of a strict just, comedy. Just the drastic difference, yeah. tone difference. And then following up with a uh, new nightmare. Yeah. All right. It just shows you as a series, how much it can pivot and still say, stay relevant to the time that it was being released. Yeah. I mean, to me, one of the first original horror comedies to me was the Monster Squad. Monster Squad. That scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. I wouldn't see that as a horror comedy. I'd see that more of as just like a Goonies type of thing. Like Goonies or yeah. with, with Universal Monsters, yeah. 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 Um, you brought up House. Yeah. The original House. And so like that. I think that was something that they they purposely put in some levity yeah. into that. But they but they were leaning towards freaking you out and, and trying to scare the shit out of people. But also would you know knew we can lean into some some levity and walk that line of we're gonna fucking make you bust out laughing and then immediately turn around and scare the fucking shit out of you yeah that to me probably predates uh, a lot of the other ones in my in my mind as far as leaning into that comedy horror f- purposely well versus. speaking of comedy horror like beetlejuice of course Be- yeah. Beetlejuice is comedy horror because this movie is supposed to be see, a I don't cross consider see, i don't see it yeah it's it's horror horror at all. you see that more as a comedy that is yeah. straight fucking yeah. comedy well yeah no yeah. it is but yeah. it takes place in more of like a darker like with a ghost and everything it's a dark else comedy. Yeah. Comedy. comedy yeah but well see what they did with this movie is they tried to do like a cross between beetlejuice and texas st john massacre texas Chainsaw yeah. massacre okay yeah yeah. which you could definitely see yeah which a lot of people didn't even realize i'm going a little ahead of here but the whole fucking hot dog scene you know that they're cannibals yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. The fucking uh, that's all long pig, bud. That works for me. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> I, definitely like <laughs> that. I didn't, I didn't catch that one. And definitely with the fucking uh, bone stripper scene, like yeah. seriously, I've, everybody fucking loves the bone stripper. bone stripper. Yeah, no, that scene right there just tells it right there because they basically grind up the fe- the people's uh, human remains and everything else and turn them into fucking yeah. hot dogs and that fucking. It's that very, was a, that, that, was a that fucking machine is machine. very it clean. Was. Yes. <laughs> it was. Very, what? It was very clean. Well, yeah, no, you see it, fucking water like cleaning it all up at the, no, the end. No, like it, it cleans I the, know the shit out of those bones. bones without damaging the bones, without yeah. damaging anything. Right. Yeah, it is. A oh, you can just see like fucking full rib cage. It's just being popped yeah. out yeah. of the yeah. fucking wall right yeah. now. Yeah. Not even a full rib but, cage, and that just shows you what a genius engineer that fucking goddamn Dan Aykroyd's character was. A genius fucking engineer. No, it was that was our no, that was. Uh, the chick. No, it was Eldana. Yeah, Eldana. John Candy's. John Candy's uh, character. I, 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 because she was like a mechanic. She was, she was a, a she mechanic. Was a she was able to build. No, everything. no, no. There was even a scene. No, there was a scene right there where it fucking blew a belt, and he said, "Well, Eldana, Eldana to fix it." Yeah, yeah so yeah. it could be the, to do the maintenance and stuff like that. But can, remember when? Um, uh, the Reeve was originally being introduced. He's like, yeah, 1932, I got shipped off to um, whatever the fucking engineering school <laughs> was. Right. shit did he right. fucking talk about Yeah, and about then he purposely there's... brought up, you know, his fucking engineering degrees. Yeah. He yeah. specifically said it was an engineer, engineering, you know, background, which completely made sense then with everything else that was going on in that entire fucking Okay, uh, so he place. planned it and she built yeah. it. He, he uh, and and then she became the the maintenance guy. He, he was too old to do. It. I, I really want to know the horsepower rating on that machine though, because it had like six fucking. <laughs> oh, engines. it was beautiful. Like, <laughs> it was beautiful. I, I love the thing how the series. fucking laughed in the background too. And so they kept it up so clean, so fucking clean. Well, see, quite well, a bit of slack in the belts there. Uh, it was. <laughs> just it was. A I, I, that's just, just a little. little. I, was, I was looking at that. I'm like. <laughs> Is that even enough tension to even turn anything? Fuck no. Fuck. No, no. no, no that fucking yeah. belt was like loose as shit. But it kind of, it also kind of worked. You know, it, no, it did. Look, actually, actually. Uh, to be fair, you actually see quite a bit of slack in belt driven machines like that. Especially no, about like old, that old, old slack, the same fucking thing right there. Yeah. yeah. Like, especially old lo- carpenter uh, <laughs> shops that run on like those super long ass belts. Like, if you, you can fucking. Yeah. Well, well, if you notice well, a lot of the, like, a lot of machinery that has, um, they use tractors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And they'll have and they'll have the big ass fucking belts. There's a lot of fucking slack in there. 
Mm-hmm. Well, but the thing is, more tension you have on a belt, it's going to snap faster. Exactly. Than it may tension. snap faster, but, it but also, yeah. it, you got to walk thing. that fine line. It didn't line. break a belt. They said it broke a belt. Yeah. When they showed you throwing a drive shaft, and I'm just hey, like, yes. what the yeah. fuck? Yes. It, can can yes. we also drive talk about... Out. And how fucking lucky goddamn Chevy Chase was. It was then that it fucking threw the goddamn <laughs> shaft. It was that fucking moment. All right. Boy, he's always the diva of the fucking movie that he and has I'm to be sorry. fucking not die. All right. As much as I love the bone stripper... And, you know, figuring we're going to give somebody, you know, a wild ride for the last fucking 30 seconds of life, you know, and stuff like that, which is, you know, great and awesome and stuff like that. Yeah. But the way they're, all right, we're just going to put up, you know, a, a two foot fucking chain link fence around the cart. I'm sorry. If I'm in that fucking cart, I'm jumping, jumping out. that right. fucking fence. Yeah. Would you, right. I'm, I'm going to ask well, you this. Would so you, panicked. Would you have loved to be on that fucking ride, though? Just, I, I know, other than me being, being the bone stripper, the fucking, yeah. uh, the roller coaster, do you think that was a pretty neat idea? It was a did? real roller coaster. They, yeah. they, they, yeah. It was I know. And that's, that's the thing. This fucking movie had a 40 million, bu- a 40, million budget on this movie Seriously? It's not that it started out 40 million way. yeah no yeah. it went, yeah. it went yeah. even exactly. way over budget it only made exactly. but it was a huge Wait, flop did, it only made it like over it yeah they did win it over made like 8 million they, they, i think it made 8.4 million dollars yeah. it did it was released on february 14th 1991 so they, were in, so they were in the black though yeah, yeah. right yeah so, oh while, right. while we're Nothing. while we're still on the engineering part can we talk about the fucking oh, chase scene and uh he flips on two switches that say fucking manifold what the fuck Fuck yeah, is no, that? No, fucking Chase posted a video. I think his uh, his girlfriend posted a video of him yeah. watching him laughing. I'm like, what the I, fuck I, is I'm this just shit? Screaming, what the fuck? But so so you see, so our resident he, car guy, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely, yeah, has yes, to. I'm a me- I'm a mechanic. But anyway, I see two two switches that say manifolds. He flips those, and we see fire come out of the tailpipes, and the slowest acceleration I've ever seen on a BMW. <laughs> yes, um, that was a beautiful BMW though. It made it was a classic, and, and it was all right. All BMWs are classic. Even, Fuck yeah. even at the time, it was a, it was considered a classic. Yeah. yeah. So like, all right, I can see it having a high top end, but I can kind of believe it having that kind of a slow was, acceleration. Well, well it was on. a be- the thing about a, the- it was a seven series. That's yeah. a that's a V eight. No, that might no. have been a V ten. I think no, that V eight. Might- I think it was an eight. I think okay. it was an eight. So that's gonna have low end. Yeah. Um, that's gonna be under square. Anyway, anyway, I'm getting too yeah, far. Come on, come on. Um, but fucking the manifold switch. What the fuck is that gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make the exhaust headers bigger. Or 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 um, I think what was going on. He was just turning on fuel injectors that were fitted to the manifolds to do absolutely fuck all to performance and shoot flames out the back. That's all I can think. Well, that's all so he was. wanted to look cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This well, he was, cool to, he, was, uh, he, he was hey, trying to. He was trying to look cool switch. Switch. for for Ronaldo right, and Fosto. He was you, trying to look cool for them when yeah. they were saying, "Come on, show this shit." <laughs> well, those those are the fucking air. Air. Yeah, are the reason that they're fucking yes. that they're in the goddamn house. Yeah, no, they're, they're the fucking yo. Right. You were right, but the fact is, is they also fucking no. Ronaldo marries fucking Dennis the cops. I'm going to disagree. That you, you, I was thinking the same thing, but then I, the more I thought about it, he was willing to let him go for the evading and shit like that. Yeah. He was taking him to the Reeve just for running the stop sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, he even said that he wouldn't talk about them he speeding. Wasn't talking exactly. About speeding. So he, he was actually trying nothing, to stand up for that. It had nothing to do with the, the Brazilian airs encouraging him to fucking the run. Brazilian That's what he kept calling them. I know. I know. I to talk about no, how well, what funny. were they? What, what was the Chevy Chase, uh, the character, um, uh, Chris Thorne? Yeah. He was basically like their like financial advisor or something yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And we yeah. also talk about how the Brazilian airs are speaking. Spanish, not Portuguese. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I thought the same fucking thing. I was ha- losing my shit. Thing. The song that they played, though, when they went, that they, they that put was the Portuguese. All right. And that was her song. She was actually the singer. So why the of fuck that. did they let her make? What, what the fuck happened in production here? They she was just <laughs> like Dan oh, yeah, Aykroyd let them do whatever the fuck they yeah. wanted to do. But no, you know no, what? No, Dan Aykroyd had, they had a, from what I hear a lot of the fucking people loved Dan Aykroyd. They loved working. Yeah, with they him. loved working yeah. because he uh, he just let them do whatever the fuck. Well, because he was a first time director. That's why. Yeah, he let them I, do whatever they wanted to do to the point of even allowing them the actors to watch their own play. Uh, you know, you know. Uh, Screens, yeah, uh, you know uh, the, the films, uh, the dailies, the dailies, the dailies, yeah, and say, oh, okay, let me do this a little bit different. Let me do this, it's like that. Instead of directing them, <laughs> right, no, no, it, let's well, do that. It that actually it shows was a, in the movie. Yeah, yeah I, no, th- I think it, it, shows it, it, it does. It really did, but it's a damn shame that this was his breakout as a director. Yeah, but no, but you know what? But him. I don't care. I still think he did a good job at it. And the oh, fact no, is, he did. No, but, the thing is, I thought the movie was extremely creative. Which, which I can't understand why this movie was a flop. It, it was just a fun, goofy movie. 
I mean, they went up. A, if I remember correctly, they went up a, uh, a handful of tough, tough fucking movies. Yes, creativity. Oh uh, uh, no, madness. here I can tell you the movies that he went against. They went against Got Silence it. of the Lambs. Uh, they went against Bride of Reanimator. Yeah. They went against yeah. King Ralph, starring John Goodman, which a classic. Okay, and uh, Never Ending Never Ending Story a Part Two, classic. Yeah. Oh, and whoa, then, whoa, no, no. Okay, hold on. Never mind. Part Two. No, part <laughs> Two. Not, 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 not the first. One. Not the Wolf Game Peterson one. No, no, no. Part Two fucking sucked. But but. The, uh, part one was so fucking awesome. I'm sure part two was dominating. Yeah, this shit. People were fucking watching that. All right. So a little interruption in the show. We, you know what? Bildo has to try out the Malort, and we want it Bildo. Oh. D- d- don't you fucking dare, man! I know what you're trying to do. I'm not fucking I, this up. I, I, I'm not getting a fucking who? punishment shot. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, no, you're trying. Who? Yeah, can you fucking rag, 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 Ragnar. Can we talk about rag, rag, this? Rag, 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 Ragnar. <laughs> can we talk about this fucking golden egg of a phone case you have, sir? Fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger, man. Yeah, That's Mando. fucking badass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, hey, funny fact I found today about Commando. Right? They none of them wore underwear while shooting. <laughs> that I don't doubt. Method acting, sir. It's method acting. I don't even have any on right now either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Bildo is about to try out the Malort for the first time. So here you go, buddy. Here we go. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. If she won't do it, your sister must. We're not in West wow. Virginia, motherfucker. I knew you were Sweet hick, but damn. Home, Alabama. That's actually pretty good. Really? Yeah. Well, shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. I, I mean, I love the burn. I think you're the only one I've ever what heard describe it as good. What in the fuck is wrong? Good. Who hurt you? <laughs> right. Who the fuck hurt you? <laughs> no, nobody hurt me. I just, I love the odd tasting stuff. You fucking sick bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fu- you're just jealous. I ain't jealous of shit that he just fucking drank. Good no, God. No, you're jealous because his reaction is not even close to what yours was. Yeah, because I <laughs> took a shot of cat piss. <laughs> no, actually, it's called uh, homeless piss man better. piss, as Lenny yes. says it. Yes, Ho- homeless. plumber's ass crack. No, but I, plumber's I, I, ass. Yeah, think, I've been thinking oh, no, more was, and more. I Tyler's, agree hundred percent with you. I mean, said uh, Chase that it tastes like duster, like us, the bittering us, agent. Calif- uh, us Californians, yeah. we we love that odd odd shit. Yeah. All right. All right. Hold so on, you're Cal- from Cali. Whoa, 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 you're from yeah. Cali, you're from and you're Cali? talking about fucking your sister? What the fuck? <laughs> Where the hell oh, are your fuck. roots fucking dug in? He man. must be a conservative Cali. And you grew up drinking I'm, fucking I'm goddamn from lightning. I was born on the military base in Cali, but my family is actually from where Tennessee. West Virginia and Virginia. Maine. Okay, okay, that Just makes sense. You were Springs? born in Cali. Where were hey, you was raised? It, was it Palm Springs? No, it wasn't Palm Springs. Okay. Where were you raised? Side California. I was born in California, but I was mostly raised in Northern Virginia. Oh, okay. All right. Northern Virginia, and you still talking about fucking your sister? No, Nova, man, that family, Nova, that family, no, that family heritage. When, when I did my toast, it's, <laughs> if she won't do it, your sister must, not mine. Oh, God. Yeah, that's not how it sounded. Like yeah, that, that wasn't yeah. how I took it at all. All right, so back to the old. <laughs> the, uh, straight hill whoa, folk. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Okay. What? I am a hillbilly. I'm not a redneck. All right? I don't There's drink Budweiser. I drink moonshine. No, so I need to, I need to step back. I respect we, that. We all need to take a step back. Is the way that we interpreted this more of a, of a statement on us? No. Huh? If, if no. four out of no. five people here. No, not even close. Ass, this motherfucker is fucking his sister. It is not the fucking way it was said. Right? It is not a not judgment me. that we want to fuck our sisters. Not that I even fucking have one. But These damn Southerners in their shit. <laughs> all right, so. Well, I will say. Eldona look fucking kind of hot. <laughs> what in the fuck, Stu? My really? guy said, nah, fuck standards. What that Stu would fuck John Candy in the ass. Like, he likes him big. Oh, yeah. you know <laughs> what? Some chunky I, I like probably him would too. I probably would. Her fucking hands will make me feel so goddamn safe and secure. <laughs> <laughs> and this All is right. where I find a fundamental difference hey, you between know what? us. You don't have to worry about any car trouble. Mm hmm. You don't have to worry about it. Exactly. I she already don't have to worry shame, about that. Chase. She would put you to shame. She no was sh- the best class A mechanic in a fucking <laughs> tri-state area or whatever the fuck he said. If she couldn't fit in an engine bay, sir. <laughs> she would push Got that engine out of her way. Got some fucking arms. All right, so back to the uh, movie. The other movie that came, also came out that year was Julia Roberts Sleeping with the Enemy. That was the yes. other movie. Oh, yeah, that was yeah, a yeah. great movie. That yeah, was good. great movie. But Man, the, the I bet. funny, I never saw it. But the funny thing about this is that this movie you haven't is seen a, half the shit they talk about. No, they they fuck he has you. It. You're right. He's got a huge fucking list that he's got to fucking watch. Yes. So this movie had a 13 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Even fucking uh, 
uh, Roger and Ebert or something like that. Oh, Ebert said, fuck this. This is a, uh, he, he actually wanted the fucking audience in to laugh out loud. So he couldn't fucking hear, hear the it. Movie. He yep. told them to, yep. he, he refused to even write a review. Yeah. He, he gave a review on the show, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, but he refused to even write up cause, cause Cisco and Ebert were both, um, actually, yeah, well, you know what? I don't true, agree with uh, Cisco you know, and Ebert. A lot of their fucking reviews, but on movies, the fact that's that you refuse to even spend your time. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Movie. It's just, it just didn't make any sense I, to me. I don't listen to anybody like well, that that what well, they see, say is good or bad because a lot of the bad movies were some of the best movies. It's exactly. Not, no, I agree. They don't have your taste. That, uh, well, not your taste, but everybody's taste in general. Well, see, that's the thing. Right. Well, the well, fucking, I, I, right, I enjoy Rotten Tomatoes. So, and, yeah, I enjoy Rotten exactly. Tomatoes because it, you know, it got it a thirteen percent on Rotten Tomatoes, but but, but the user score was forty seven percent, which is not bad. Actually, it, it goes it's almost not half. just as a critical, but also the fact that even critical, um, you have enough wide berth of a uh, 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 of a group of critics, yeah, and you have enough wide berth of a group of non critics, yeah, to actually give you know opinions and get inside and not just go by straight percentages but actually read you know some of the blurbs and some we'll of see the, when like, this movie came out i figure that this has gained more of a cult comedy status because right now the 47 percent a lot of people take this movie nostalgic they saw this yes. when they were a kid and they fucking loved it but then when they got older people like i frick I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say this flat out ragnar's wife uh snow <laughs> fucking hated this movie. I talked to her. Surprise, surprise. She also hated fucking Idiocracy. No, 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 Idiocracy. Stop, stop. I knew you were going to say this. I knew you were going to fucking say this. This movie made her appreciate Idiocracy. All right, cool. I know. I'm okay with that. That's what I fucking Fucking, that's fucking bullshit. All right. No, I know. No, no, no. It is not. No, no. I called Snow. I called Snow earlier today. a better movie. I called Snow earlier. It is definitely a better movie. Absolutely. And another one I haven't seen. What? What? Damn. That came out while you've been fucking at least looking at you girls. Okay? Do you want this chronologically or alphabetically? Both. <laughs> Both of them. I mean, you're, you're a mechanic. You you should have time to watch these movies. How do you right? Bitch, not? I work six days a week. <laughs> it's fucking got no, 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 no. Don't you have no. a phone? Sleep the seven. The, the, the thing is, is I work midnight shifts, and I still had time <laughs> to watch the damn movies. I have ADHD and insomnia, and I work six days a week. <laughs> Hold on. But your fucking insomnia should allow you to fucking goddamn watch films exactly. nonstop. Unfortunately, it's mostly spent on TikTok. And we. <laughs> That's the younger generation weed. for you. Bing bong and all that stupid shit. But do you feel <laughs> do you feel that this uh, do you feel that this movie has a higher review than it should have? Do you think it should have a better review? I I think nah. a lot of the time the critics aren't gonna they're only at the time on Rotten Tomatoes is only gonna review at the time. They're gonna they're gonna gather the No, you're right, because the there's some movies that have actually had a lower rating and then they've gained a higher rating yes. of reviews with more review, with exactly. more critics that have come in. And of that's this generation. the problem with that is a problem with Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic and, sh- and IMDb and shit like yeah. that. Is they they're only drawing from and I and I, I ain't mad because people are being paid to review new movies. They're not being paid to Where's review fucking twenty year old yeah. movies. Yeah. So I'm trying to think as an adult, you know, what a you know uh, how how they would have may appreciated it at the time for its its ab- absurdist humor, and it really is absurdist humor. Yeah. Um. It reminds me a lot of the. Uh, uh, Adam's family, uh, Hotel Hell, or not yeah. uh, Hotel Hell? No, no, not no, no. Um, Haunted Hotel with uh, oh Gene God. Wilder. Yeah, no, which one? Uh, you talking it reminds about? me a lot. Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. of that. I, I mean, that. a lot of very, very strong similarities. You had a lot of another movie Chase has never watched. Yeah. Okay, fuck you. I was actually about to say yes, but uh, but uh, here's the thing, Gene Wilder. I'm a huge fan of, huge and I didn't know okay. that was a movie he was in. Not only in, but directed. Okay, so what was this called again? Because I'm uh, Haunted Hotel. All right, you're, all right. Little, you're, you're a little fucking yes, original. I'm fucking no, drunk, hey, so okay? A lot of major Hold comedians on. in the that original, film. The original Haunted Hotel. Yes. I'm yes, alcoholically yes. Not frugal, the remake. okay? Yeah. yeah. No, um, uh, uh, so everybody just knows Gene Wilder for fucking you have a, uh, you yeah, have no, a, a I main remember him from star. Com- Hear comedian. no evil, see no evil. Yes, yes. Pryor no, one. No, no, yes. no, no, no. Um, no also the, the Richard Pryor movies that he did. Oh, yeah, they, he worked. Uh, Young wonderfully. Frankenstein. Young Mel- Frankenstein yes. was another good one. Young Frankenstein. Uh, Mel Brooks was it History of the World or the um, other one? No, it was History. It was, uh, no, he wasn't no, no, in, no, no, he wasn't no, in no, History no, of the World. He no, was in no, uh, Blazing um, Saddles. Blazing Saddles. That's right. Yeah, which we also did a show back. If you got fucking comedy, by the way, guys, love that fucking show. By the way, guys, if you go to our library to our vault of all of our episodes, there is a great episode, Stu's episode of Blazing Saddles. Check it out, guys. All my 
episodes are great episodes. Phenomenal right. show. I, phenomenal I picked episode. the best fucking films. Just you know. Fuck you. you Heather <laughs> sucked. Suck dick. Heather's was amazing. <laughs> Heather sucked. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but that movie sucked. No, 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 that was a fucking stupid movie. It was worse than Split Second. I <laughs> love <okay. laughs> All right, so this will be Ron's last show. <laughs> so I'm stab him straight in the fucking neck. Uh, uh, no. So to be you fair, would put that um, over that really. What Heather's was a Heather's was horrible. You liked it. Heather's was a pretty decent movie. Not really. Considering the time frame, it was, I, I understand the I plot. I mean, you have a vagina between the legs. Right. Yeah. It's a great movie. So just like a lot of the fucking movies that we talk about, you can't look at it as now. Look at it back then. When yeah. it I understand what you're out. saying. It was very iconic for the time, but still watching that movie. Not I was just ex- for the time. I, I don't know. I, I didn't care for it. introduced and was willing to push that fucking yeah. envelope. I, I didn't like for the fucking I Christian. listened to y'all's episode mm-hmm. on here, and I recommended it to my girlfriend, and I felt bad for recommending it. <sighs> oh, see, there you go. Uh, but yeah, that is the younger generation, though. But the thing is, I still didn't like it. I, I've seen better ones, better dark, because I, I, I would call that a dark comedy. Okay, I am really surprised that Crystal didn't actually like that. From the interactions that I've had with her, I thought she would find the the, the black comedy of Heather's and the... I'm actually shocked, too, because I thought she light. liked it. Yeah, I, yeah. I would have thought she would have enjoyed that, you know, just... I thought Snow would like it. I got it. On, on it, I'll have to double uh, check with her, yeah, but maybe she, it's she's you know, not. I just talked to her. I don't know, she yeah. sounded like she was pissed off. <laughs> like, like, why did you make me watch this pile of shit? So it was like maybe idiocracy me. with me. M- maybe I'll have her watch she Split Second and see how she likes that. Okay, if anybody says fucking Split Second is fucking better than Heather's, I don't want you in my life. <laughs> 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 you are a negative so Ron, You are out of from my Stu's fucking, life from now on. I guess I'm just a producer now, so I just have to edit the shows. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so here's a good question for you guys in this movie. So I'm going to start with you, Ragnar. What is your favorite scene in this movie? Like, what scene God. stood out for you? Oh. Um, Bobo. <laughs> oh, God. The fucking big baby. Little Debbie. Or little devil. 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 Yes. Little devil. D E V I L. By the way, Bobo was played by Dan Aykroyd no, in a dual no, no, role. No. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. D E B B U L. I've seen it. So many, uh, what was uh, actually, I never I watched paid it in, in the credits. I watched I never it, paid it in what with it captions. Yeah. It's little, little devil. I did too, with the U L. I think it was L E. See, I don't like, so so it, I mean, okay. it was, all right, we're getting somebody in the caption right. is doing it different for different uh, platforms. Yeah, or something I, like I that. really don't think it fucking it's for matters. copyright. <laughs> anyway, so what, what's your favorite scene? So when they showed up. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they're fucking uh, doing the whole hammer thing, and they're yeah. all arguing about each other. But oh, you won't let me in the you're fucking not, house. You're not, yeah, they're not letting us in the house. And Demi Moore actually, is, like you know, she's spying around the fucking corner. She's she these two Diane like fucking things in diapers. Yeah, and okay. They're just fat. Fat. was that no? When no, everybody, no, no when, they're not fat. No, they're no, no by their own by their own admission. Because you got too fat to pay <laughs> high school. All right, but I'm gonna ask this: that when you guys <laughs> yeah. saw this movie, and all of a sudden you see these two big guys, what did you all like? What the fuck is genius. this shit? Oh, genius! I love it. I love it. <laughs> no, my first thought it was, was uh, basically what my the first, fuck. My first thought was, oh god, it's two of the giant babies from Thirteen Ghosts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's a good reference yeah, right there. About that. You know what? I I forgot. I'm planning on doing that movie. How about you, oh, Stu? What I is your favorite scene in the movie? movie? Oh, I love so many fucking scenes. Um. All right. So. The wedding scene, yes, is just because I have such a soft spot for Digital Underground in my fucking heart. Yes, and tie the see knot, baby tie, ass tie the fucking knot. Tupac and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, to see Shock G being him, his amazing self, and them just fucking flowing, and then also the, you know immediately prior to the wedding, you know, seeing uh, the the Reeve, you know, just busting out the fucking organ and shit like that, and yep. just flowing with it. I'm like. Oh, it's so random, but it goddamn works. You know what I fucking loved about that scene is also the fact is uh, that Chevy Chase was like uh, the um, uh, Chris Thorne's character was basically saying that I don't want this. Says, oh, hey, man, I was nervous at my wedding, too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking made me laugh yes. out loud. And you had the, the dancers. Yes. Yeah. Shit rubbing up all on Dan Acker. Yeah, Knowing know. how that, that fucking guy was like. Oh my god, disgusting as shit! You know, and fucking, they had no care in the world. No, they didn't care. They were just There's rubbing all up against nasty him. Bitches, and right then what there. made me? I, I lo- another reason I love this film is to, to picture because there was a lot of times Dan Aykroyd wouldn't even bother getting out of costume. 
to go direct. So just imagining like the Reeve or Bobo <laughs> fucking sitting in the director's chair and telling people, I, I, what I wouldn't tell them. Oh my God. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm just being told, all right, so this is what I need to do. Apparently, there was actually some shit raised about Bobo like directing in the middle of the scene. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I can't. You know how much you'll be laughing at a fucking big baby directing you like that? Yes. Hey, uh, Bildo, what is your favorite scene? My favorite scene is with your typical Jersey people. Which ones? The typical Jersey people. Oh, when they got oh when the, they get pulled over and the one guy pulled a pistol out on them. Oh, Daniel, uh, Bal- then, Daniel yes, Baldwin. Yes. yes. Yeah. The yeah. Baldwin, one of the Baldwin yeah. brothers. Yeah. Baldwin. Fight Baldwin. Oh, yep. And then yes. John Candy pulls out the Mac-10. Yes. Come on oh, now. Oh, no, oh, please don't yeah. shoot me. Oh, 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 That was not a Mac-10, sir. That was a Tech-9. You're right. You're right. You're right. Get your shit straight. Good job. Good job, uh, you know what? I apologize for that. Gangsta. You're right. We got but to me, it, it, it reminded me of Crocod- <laughs> Crocodile Dundee when you when you said, "That's not a knife. This is a knife." <laughs> you know? Yeah, but how much fun you know. would have been if he actually pulled out a knife? All right. Spicy motor. How, how about close your- they were? I don't care if it was a fucking Tech Nine or it was a fucking goddamn twenty two. When fuck, if I had a gun put straight to my fucking throat, <laughs> it didn't fucking matter. That bullet was gonna fucking do the job. All right. right. Been there four times. I yeah. lived every once. And once again, didn't matter what fucking fire. Arm it was up against your fucking. Oh throat. no, your asshole's puckering every single <laughs> exactly. time. I gotta confess. What? Oh, qu- quick question. Quick do? question. You did. A, you said the name, didn't you? I said. Oh you shit! Said a you spicy did. Butter. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm surprised I, nobody caught you, it. But thank I, you I, for your honesty. But I'm being honest. I'm taking my shot of thank fucking. You for your I thought that was Malort for a second. And I was like, you are fucking crazy. No, Malort is good. You're, I don't understand why y'all don't like it. Malort is good. No, <sighs> you're fucking Chase out of your mind. The only one. That well, actually, Chase and uh, Lenny are the only ones that more or less despise it. You know, no, Ron, no, Ron, no, I, Ron, I, I need to download. Ron, Ron, I don't Instagram. like it, Ron, but I didn't have a, I yeah. didn't have a big reaction compared to Chase and Lenny. You had the worst reaction. No, no, no you, 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 you had, had a reaction at the longer it stayed on your fucking yeah. tongue. Yeah, I was just like, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that with your with yeah. that with the tequila. Well, it was the same with you. You were like, eh, eh. I mean, that's all you said. All right, how about you, Chase? What is your favorite scene? Bother me. Um, favorite or most? No, you know, I, 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 <laughs> it's, it's my favorite because I hated it so much. Um, it's it's the car chase. I picked that shit apart so fucking much during the movie. Oh my fucking uh, god! Of oh yeah, did. no, no. But it, you got to give respect. Yes, no, I know you you brought no, up the, the manifold. Fuck I do no, not. I know you brought up the manifold. You know switches. I understand that, and I appreciate where you're coming from on that. But when he hit the detour switch, when he hit the bridge switch, just the engineering at the time that had the to go The thought that went into, into it was pretty nifty. However, right. the driving and the shooting was fucking ridiculous. Yeah. The engineering in it, when you looked at it, it was just a rock that was tied to the bridge making it go up and no, down. But, and how, exactly. And that's what they would be using, what was uh, available and the... It ain't stupid if it fucking works. Yeah. All right. I mean, yeah. So <laughs> that's a fact right there. The production yeah, design absolutely. was good. However, the reason the reason I say I hate it so much is that okay, you got the manifold switch bullshit. That fucking blew my mind. And then we see he's doing like a hundred and thirty yeah. supposedly. And yeah, they topped cut out. No uh, and they cut out and he's obviously doing like Forty miles an hour. Exactly, <laughs> he was going pretty slow. Yeah, and then he's taking the turn in the dirt, and he's. You can see that he's. Wait, I think he was in a quarry, I believe. Well, yeah, I, I'm getting. I'm getting really technical here, but you can see where he's. Dr- not exactly drifting, but partly drifting through that turn, to Overseer. turn in 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 dirt, and then they cut back into the car, and Chevy's obviously turning the completely opposite direction with no. the steering wheel so, yeah. on every so single fucking that, cut. It was it was oversteer and understeer, no. you know, so, issues that were going on. If you watch sprint cars, they steer that way. Yeah. yeah. So it's, no, 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 it, no, no, it's no, not no, a no, falsity. I, no, I, I know what you mean. When you're on dirt, you the traction the is so different. the opposite direction yeah. of where you want to oh. go, but when it went back into the car, Chevy was turning the, uh, into the turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you're every right. Every right. single fucking turn. Yeah, you're right. And you're right. I was yeah. having a goddamn aneurysm. <laughs> so wait a minute. Even though you hated that scene, that's your favorite scene of the movie? Yes, because it's fucking hysterical. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. Well, the same by, way Split Second has become a little bit better to me just because of the joy of shitting on it. I think that's Well, you have that epic rant scene. on the fucking Split Second episode, which is another episode you guys should all to check out because it is fucking hilarious. That is where we started becoming... That, that I th- I really believe that's the first episode where we started becoming what Barrel we are Flicks. now. Yeah. Yes. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and say my favorite scene. I'm surprised Please that none do. of you picked it. I fucking love the dinner sequence. I'm sorry. The I fucking dinner sequence. No, I'm That's sorry. That te- shit was you love fucking the horror hilarious. Movies from okay. yes. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But the fact that first of all, I love the they fucking spent table. Twenty five grand on that fucking table. That on a that fucking table train was fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah. That shit was fucking awesome, man. I was not gonna lie. Right. I have to say that, like with the train set. And when they came into the Reeves uh, courtroom, living room thing, yeah. As the as soon as I saw all the hydraulic setup, I thought to myself, "This was absolutely a flop in, in theaters." Like they spent fucking millions on this, which thing. I still don't understand. I would have fucking <laughs> loved. I would have seen it multiple times bro, in the bro, theater. Bro, and and I, the I like Warner the Brothers movie. was so bad. It's yeah, a, it's yeah, a yeah, fun yeah. movie, but, but I, I couldn't even focus on it because they even told Dan Aykroyd, "All right." You're our little movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonfire yeah. of the Vanities, which was shooting across the... Uh, which is not a good movie. It's our big movie. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, I, I guess because they were trying to go by... Fucking yeah, holding your they were trying to go by the fucking star Stop power of that movie. so much money. But you know yeah. what? They went with Dan Aykroyd because Dan Aykroyd came from Ghostbusters, so they thought okay. that he would Dan do a good Aykroyd, job with this. He didn't yeah. even want to direct that. No, no, first of all, he no. Like, he, no oh, this I guess nobody else will. It was the only way... He knew that the only way Warner Brothers would greenlight it. And the directors that he offered it to, he directed it because he offered it to John Landis, who directed Blue brothers who wouldn't John also, Landis rejected the script thought it was the most stupid no yeah. John Landis Land- refused uh, no, because he, brothers. he would uh, um, he would traditionally only write uh, direct movies that he had written no 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 no. that's John Hughes Hughes you're right you're, you're getting right. a completely you're mixed right. up you're right John Landis was the one that John's back then yeah John Landis did fucking uh, uh, the Blues Brothers so right. he did that with him but he said he completely hated the script and rejected yeah, you're it right, you're right John Hughes liked the script but he said that he wasn't going to direct it exactly from what you said because he directs movies more of his with like a teen heartthrob and stuff like that yeah but the fact is, is that so Dan Aykroyd took over the director's chair, and he also did the whole dual role. He had a he was producer, writer, uh, director of the movie. He did a lot for this movie. But the crew enjoyed working with him. They fucking loved him. Because other because of the fact that they that he would just let them do whatever they wanted to do. Other than one other actor, fucking Chevy Chase, uh, Mr. Oh, Diva. Yeah, okay, yeah. see, no, see, uh, no, 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 there's no, a no. lot of shit Dan about Chevy Aykroyd Chase. Aykroyd has never once Chevy said Chase a bad but a diva. word. No, he hasn't. But Chevy. the crew has. In fact, there's even a fucking rumor where somebody said that they that he argued with Dan Aykroyd on the skit. I mean, there, it's not confirmed. I have no idea that he said that he would throw a brick at fucking Chevy Chase because he did. What, what was it, uh, Bildo? If anybody argues with Dan Aykroyd again. Well, Chevy Chase, that he's going to throw a brick at their head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know if it's confirmed. It might be just like confirmed. an internet Chevy, rumor. Chevy or was like definitely. That. He was a diva. I mean, he's, he's a real. diva. It's known as he's a diva. A diva. No, yeah. I have known absolutely. this from a lot of movies that yeah, Chevy no, Chase absolutely. is hard to work with. Yeah. But also, Dan Aykroyd and Chevy had such a friendship, a true yeah. friendship. Oh, well, they, they did, uh, they did, uh, they did, did Spies films. Like Us. Yeah. Didn't? Was yeah. Spies Like Us? Spies Like Us. I love It was Spies Like Us. Yeah. Very underrated film. It was very Was Dan Aykroyd in Fletch? Was Dan Aykroyd in Fletch? Uh, no. No, he wasn't. Okay, no. I didn't know if he was. but They only did, I think, three, including this, three, maybe four films together, but they had a, a, a strong connection. Well, they also, from N- their NSL alumni. Uh, SNL. Yeah, um, SNL alumni. Yeah. Uh, uh, alumni? Alumni. 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 And I think... Think. Words are oh, hard. Illuminati, bro. Well, hold on. <laughs> Wasn't Chevy also a I Second thought I saw City, that all uh, somewhere around here. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So, Dan Aykroyd, Chevy Chase, John uh, John Candy, and um, the, the chick who played Candy's, uh, uh, the, the other constable, um, his cousin. Uh, I don't remember. They were all SNL, or not SNL, I'm sorry, uh, Second City alumni. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Second City pretty so many genius fucking comedians well here's a good genius question here's a good question for you even though chevy chase is known to be hard to work with he still has some great comedy roles you know caddyshack uh christmas vacation movies and but stuff caddyshack like that. and all that that was his earlier days so he wasn't a diva then no but no no he was always no, a no, diva. Yeah, he's no, always no, been hard to work he, with uh, oh, oh, only after snl yeah after yeah. he left snl and became such a swinging fucking dick that's when he became like, you know you know what other you know what other worth. director hated working with chevy chase was john carpenter for yeah. the uh, the man, um, the invisible man that was what was the movie uh, from John Carpenter? Oh, you yeah. remember what I'm talking oh, about? Man? Yes, it was John Carpenter. Uh, yeah, the United, no, no, I, no, I, something I love, the Invisible Man, or something like it that. Was the invi- no, it had. Oh. Yeah, it was the, no, invisible, it was the invisible Man. man. It, no, it was. There, there was another title. For no, it. yeah, no, it, it, it had it to do longer. with the Invisible Man. It was longer man. than that. It yeah. was made in the '90s or something yeah. like that. But the thing is, I, here's a good question: What is your favorite Chevy Chase movie? Memoirs of an Invisible Man. That's what it was. Oh, I'm gonna go with Fletch. I knew you were going to pick that. I'm gonna go I knew you were going to pick that. Christmas. It was smart, and it was fucking absurdist, and 
Chevy it just the deadpan humor that he's able to fucking deliver and the smart assness that he's able to All fucking right. Clark, Gr- I, Clark I, Griswold I is by far his best I, role in my I opinion. gotta comment on what you just Not said. Me. You don't like Clark, you don't like the vacation uh, no, no, movies? I, I, I like the National Lampoons. But to me, Caddyshack. Because I mean you got oh, Chevy the Chase, you got yeah. Rodney Dangerfield, Bill Murray. Okay. We're not Come asking the, the best film. We're asking no, no, the, the but best. But that's my favorite Chevy, Chevy Chase, Chase movie okay. yeah. because of the actual comedy in it. I laugh my ass when off. When I think of Caddyshack, though, I don't. And I, I that, that, that's more of an ensemble cast. Yeah, Bill Murray, because, not yeah. Not exa- I, no, it's no, not no, a Bill Murray film. It's, it's an Bill ensemble Bill cast. A very not. small role. See, you know, that's the thing. Small they, role. They, everybody had like almost it's, like an equal role inside that movie. It's a great comedy. Exactly. Great it's an film, ensemble cast, but it is not a Chevy Chase film. No, I know vacation movies. A vacation movies would be a Chevy Chase film. To me, the 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 National Lampoons and all that, it was just, it was overplayed to me. Really? Why do you think that, are, are you talking about like uh, only the vacations were overplayed? Exactly. It's, it's the vacation, the National Lampoons vacation was just like any other vacation movie that you saw. Okay. I can re- I understand that. I mean, right. but no, Caddyshack, I no, disagree no, because I think they were all different. If you think about the National Lampoon, the actual true National Lampoons movies, there's a, a lot of good, good fucking comedies the, the, in the I'm 80s, not, not the 90s. No, yeah, right. You're right. Yeah, I think the I'm only sure. the only one that was more recent that was yeah. good I mean, was Van fucking, Wilder. I mean, even Animal House as their yeah, break, yeah. you know, original film. Yeah, it's a genius fucking comedy for the time that it happened. It was fucking amazing, and it introduced that type of comedy to the masses. Yeah, it really did, and then allowed them to pivot. Considering the National Poon started out as just a, a fucking magazine. That's yeah. all they right, want. right. Um, there's a handful of people. They're right. We're just gonna write shit that we find fucking funny. I mean, but yeah. the thing is, if you could take a movie about golf yes. and make it funny, come on now. Uh, Happy <laughs> Gilmore. But that's in today's age. Yeah. So we're gonna oh, get back yes. to our show here. But first, before we yes, go our we show, are. we're going to have a bonus here. Chase is gonna try okay. his first shot of. Everclear, the and real not, shit. Exactly, not that pussy ass fucking Everclear that's being you're able to get here and you know the good old fucking Commonwealth. Y'all, the y'all enjoying this little drunk episode yeah. here of uh, Chase getting drunk because he's lightweight <laughs> as fuck. So Chase, you ready to take the shot? All right. Uh, how's it compared to lo- to White Lightning? Like proper? You'll find out. Oh, it, it, it's I'll find you'll out. find out. Okay, it, just it, just take a shot. Right. Just go ahead. Swallow it. it One no smell. I love it. <laughs> What's <laughs> <laughs> You're sweating it's there. Spicy. It's what? It's spicy. That's good though. Mm-hmm. Did you like it? I like that. And yeah. that's I think your drill Everclear. Malort was better. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> I would take Everclear over over Malort. No, that's that's like spicy, but fucking um, delicious. I fucking like that. Really? Well, we find. I'm like that. That's the real. Yeah. No, Stu got me yeah. that as a gift. Like. Shit, like oh, old, oh, dude, I've good. had that bottle for so long. I can't believe it's I'm last. Oh, that that's movie. fucking dangerous. I've only used it for like no, special that, occasions. That, that's, I mean, <sighs> to, uh, I usually don't just fucking drink Everclear. Right? If I'm going to drink something like that, I'm going to drink. You Sean. mix it. Well, you make jungle right. juice with it. Don't yeah, you? exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pick up the Everclear when I'm making batches of jungle <clears> juice. <throat> yeah. All right, to fuck your shit up. Yep. All right. So here's a question for you guys. What do you guys think of John Candy and his dual role as? Uh, I loved it as he Eldana and fucking Dennis the Cop. I was. I really wish Dennis stayed longer. I really do. I loved his character. He yeah. wasn't in it for yeah, that yeah. fucking long. He, he I, deserved more screen time. Yeah, I hey, really he got he, he got Ronaldo. I mean, Ronaldo was like you know they hey. became lovers at the end. Good for him. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. she was the one for thing him. that was uh, oh, spicy bitch funny <laughs> that I read about him. So I guess when the first time he came out as Eldana, you know, everybody busted I up, fucking laughed it. And she, um, he did it perfectly. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. He, he supposedly claimed, you know, the, uh, said, you know, as, as the entire fucking crew is busting out laughing um, and cat calling him and wolf whistling him. Um, he's like, as they should. Yeah. The things I'll do for a million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's the> worst <laughs> shit. I'll do that for a million dollars. I'd buy that for a dollar. There you go. There you Fuck go. that, I'd buy it for 50 cent. No, Chase, no. what'd you say? But Chase is a little... I said my man Bildo over here having some fucking technical difficulties. Difficulties. <laughs> he, said, he said, I'm a whistle. 
<laughs> you know Rihanna can't muscle. Really? The fuck? Yeah. That is the most random that, fucking. Yeah, I was just about to see the exact same thing. Where did that come yeah. from? Out. So like, they call me Google for the random shit I know. Yeah. But what the fuck was that? Yep. Yeah. Rihanna can't muscle. <clears throat> All right, I'm so sure she can do other things. Oh yes, she can. <laughs> so I never, I never, oh, yes, so she can. I never talked about uh, my favorite scene was the dinner sequence, uh, the fucking hot dog sequence. But I have to ask this: this is the thing that kind of shocked me every single time I saw it because it happened twice in the film. You the see penis? fucking Dan Aykroyd with the fucking penis nose. Yes, but all of a sudden it shows up even more like a fucking cock in that one and at the end of the movie. Was it getting hard or something like that? No, I think it, because it was... <laughs> because I, I couldn't figure that shit out me, because all of a sudden you didn't see it as much. It, was it looked a, more like a cock oh, before he was going to bed. No. No, no, most, no, no. The, the it was biggest, more at the dinner table and also at the end of the movie when he said, I'm going to come back for you, banker. You know, yeah. When, now, when, when so I the, watched it with my wife and I was like, look, he's got a dick nose. Okay, so the... She couldn't even see it. The, I, and... I picked no, up it, more it, on the dinner like scene and the afterwards. On the dinner scene. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. So. No, and also the end. The logic yeah, yeah. that works for me in my mind. So it's a a, a prosthetic, obviously. Well, but, it is, yeah. But I'm assuming so. it, it's a. He lost his dick inside the war. So no, he, he no, uses, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in my mind for logic's sake. Um where he's based at, even though he claims to have, you know, all these, you know, richer, you know, than Alibaba, um, you know, when he was talking to uh, Chevy Chase's character about marrying Eldona, um, yeah, that very low quality prosthetics. So what if it was something more like a, a wax or a plastic base? So when he's around heat, it becomes more moldable more you know soft and and no like no 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 that's, like, that, that's the thing i can't figure out see, with the uh the coal yeah the coal fires yeah going so on around all? dinner you're gonna have hot you know hot meal going on you know the hot dogs are you talking about around the hot on. steam around the hot yeah. dogs and then you uh, really notice it also at the end when he's so picking what, through the shit when the fires are going on and so he's around all that fucking heat so because <laughs> of the low quality that that prosthetic would have possibly a bin well you really analyze this whole thing yeah so, all right so would it have been so would it have made it a little bit bigger as it as opposed to it sounded like he was getting a hard on on his nose freezing cold no well, i mean I it wasn't got, snowing so it didn't hard. i think it just became more are we scientifically dissecting yes. the like i'm of a sorry but this is a scene, <laughs> this is a scene that i couldn't figure <laughs> out because his dick show his fucking no, nose he, looked like a dick uh, in yeah. that fucking epi- he just he, he didn't look like that the rest like of the fucking, fucking movie cock. Uh, but no it still dude. looked like a cock but then when you saw it at the table you just seemed that great like oh yeah it, what's up, guys? it went from a almost like a dimple and a lot of other things almost a dimple at the end of the nose to an indentation which gave you the fucking slit it all was, right it was, so, it was it was a, a fucking dick it, it was, was a, a dick it nose it wasn't until but the, the slit. thing is though i it thought he was getting like aroused slit. or something no, at fucking the table no, scene the it was a up. scene showing chevy chase's <laughs> character realizing the like the uh <laughs> likeness of it Bilo, you are laughing your ass so that ending scene i just can't believe we're talking about dicks again we love the dick twist. The dick twist. Bobby the, dick. the old dick twist. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this is MMA. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm sorry, but it, I, it's right, still fuck you. That Everclear is hitting hard. I told you. You're ah, fucking lightweight. Woo. <laughs> You're yeah, as you're listening dick. to our nice drunk episode tonight with uh, Chase, of course. Um, what did you guys think of uh, Dan Aykroyd as Bobo? What did you? I understand the fucking Bobo. He didn't want to play that role, and he only fucking took it because he couldn't find somebody else. I couldn't fucking tell him apart. I mean, the, the, the thing is, is I didn't even know it was Dan Aykroyd until the credits. Yeah. So the prosthetics was just like... The second so I heard well voice. done. Well, apparently there was a zipper on the know. back. There was yeah, a zipper it, on the back. It of the took suits. him an hour, over an hour. Well, to he get was getting in depressed or out of that fucking suit. Well, he was getting depressed on fucking set because he was directing. He had to be in yeah. the fucking makeup for Judge, which I think was like four or five hour makeup job right there, yeah. which was actually a decent makeup job for a the Judge. Oh, that's pretty I good. I thought Dan Aykroyd did great as a Judge. I know Ragnar thinks he's fucking stupid as fuck, but what? still, no. You you said that yourself. You thought that he was just a stupid character. But I thought the judge was no, great. I don't think, no, I didn't think it was a stupid character. I think he... It, Snow did. No, she thought it was stupid. <laughs> I think Ackroyd... She, she said the whole was, movie was stupid. I thought it was, it was genius. one of his best actual characters yes uh, and that's why know, i said his whole, whole filmography i and really that's how think. i feel that this is one of my favorite dan Aykroyd films yeah. I, I understand that he comes from blues brothers and the thing is you brought up blues brothers i was thinking you know what we have a we have a mission from god i mean that that, that a mission 
from, from God. From God. That movie is classic. That, in fact, that's a movie that definitely is probably going to be on my list to do. But the fact is, is that this was a good role for him. I thought he did a great job. He put a lot into it, especially directing it and everything else. It, it was a Mel Gibson but for who Braveheart else played as Bruce he was. Brothers? Well, uh, but who Belushi. else played the Blues Brothers? Oh, Belushi, Belushi, yeah. of course. Yeah. Belushi yeah. was amazing. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. But who else played the Blues Brothers that was also in Nothing But Trouble? Oh, John Candy. There you go. So, hold on. Candy was a blues brother? John yeah. Candy was a blues brother. Was it an SNL skit? No. No. What was it? It was an actual full on movie. Blues Brothers 2000. No, that's John Goodman. That's John Goodman. You know what? Uh, You're right. No, I'm yeah, dumbass. that's why yeah, I'm going yeah, yeah. That like, calls that for a punishment shot. shot. Yeah. All right. Oh, who's going to vote? I, I vote for it. a punishment Let's shot. Let's do it. I vote. I vote for. Uh, so since it's on two, it comes down to me. Actually, no, it doesn't even matter what I vote because that's that's two I, votes. I vote yeah, for so myself. No matter what, yeah. Let's go ahead. And, I vote for myself. All right. I did fuck let's that up. Let's go for it. Then. Yeah, punishment all right. shot. All right. So, what would you like for your punishment shot? Well, uh, see, I, I like the. Yeah, what would yeah, you I mean, like? You mean what would you hate? I mean, you, you, I hate you like fruity it. shit. You don't, you don't like hypnotic, 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 hypnotic. hypnotic. No, I hate fruity shit. It's no. low ass water percent. Water right, give me your shot glass. This is rotten Let me fruit. Give you one as, that's not this cracked. Is, <laughs> this is rotten fruit, as uh, as uh, Stu would say. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiled fruit. <laughs> because Ron wanted Chase to make is about the, to fucking fall out of his goddamn chair. Right oh now. no! The shit it, that they on. don't like. You gotta also the pour one like. for Ragnar. Huh? You also got to pour one for Ragnar. He was in agreement. Oh it, shit! No, was, you're right, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh shit! That's our new rule. That's yeah. right. Yeah. No, 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 he no, well, well, not he, even for the basis no. of the rule. He was in agreement that it was fucking candy, was not candy. fucking Goodman. <laughs> All right, so Ragnar, what would you? What was your? What was your stuff that you hate the most? Well, you can pour me hypnotic. I out, hear Chase so. over here coughing you up like that hypnotic. Everclear. It's Dude. spicy. Okay, so <laughs> pour me. Did you like the gin? You know what? Here's a glass. Surprise me. Mm, yeah. You know what? I got I'm going to even close my eyes. I got a fucking surprise for you. You know that shit that's in your hand I right now? I got a fucking surprise for you, too. I it's going to go straight for, down your I, fucking I, ass. I, I do that shit. <laughs> it's not even going down your throat. It's going straight hey, up the Ragnar, fucking Ragnar, ass. Ragnar, there you go. You know what? The, the shit that he just poured you, I do that as a hobby. I love gold prospecting. Okay. All right, All right. guys. Take your punishment shot. Skull. All right. So that's gold. Uh, Goldschlager, and you yeah. got what? Ooh. Hypnotic. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's right. his new it's punishment bad, shot. Right? Oh, there we go. It's bad. It's just not good. Found I it. fucking hate fruity like shit. Yeah. So it's what it is. So I heard <laughs> once. Damn it. This might be something you don't fucking Dude, like. I've told you before in previous episodes. I've been all around the world. I've tasted pretty much fucking almost everything. Yeah, all you, you, around you the world. world. Same and song. Oh, there you go. You got. Ah, you good you need to dig that deep to find something I can like. Yeah, I was gonna say this guy's military. Have you had two B sixty? Yes, I have. Okay, he talked about it in the other show. Yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah, no, he did talk about it. No, um, yeah, just because I was, I was very surprised at Tyler's pull on 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 two B. I was very surprised on that. Yeah, but I think Malort is worse than two sixty to tell you the truth. Malort is the only reason Malort. So you thought two sixty was worth it? Malort. The only reason Malort is. It may be considered worse is the how much it coats the tongue. It just sits there and, and lingers. Exactly. Yeah. No, I you didn't know, get none know. of that lingering effect that everybody was talking. That's because your fucking tongue is dead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are the uh, what are the dark comedies other than Nothing But Trouble? I know we're going off subject. We've been doing that a lot in this mm-hmm. mo- in this uh, episode. But you know what? Fuck it. What other dark comedies would you say is your favorite dark comedy? This Son is- of the Dead. That's a good yeah. one. Oh yes, that's a good one. How about you, Ragnar? Oh yes. So you go with Sean of the Dead. Yeah, I'll go definitely fucking. Me, it was there. the Blair Witch Project. That's that not was a, dark, it wasn't. That's not a dark comedy. That's not a dark comedy. I laughed my ass. But it wasn't. But that's men. not a. No, just, not not you have to pick a movie that's you know genre of dark comedy. All right, y'all brought up House earlier. My favorite one was House Two. I'm like that. You can okay. say that's more of a dark comedy. House Two was so much weaker than House. It was. It was. But it is sort of a dark comedy. But. I laughed my ass off. All right. How about you, Chase? My bad. I'm fucked up. What'd you ask? What's what your favorite dark, dark comedy? comedy? You need to fucking Ooh. hold it together, son. All right. Fuck you. I'm a lightweight. Sorry. Alcoholically frugal. <laughs> oh, I thought I had another one. Your too. favorite dark comedy? Frugal. Um, <clears throat> frugal binder. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what that's from. Yes. Cocktail. Flu- uh, what? Yeah. Co- you said Fuck flugel you. Binder. No, I. No. You said Flugelbinder, right? Flugenheimer. 
Oh, I, you, what, what's your favorite dark comedy? I would consider Saw a dark comedy to me. That's I not a dark comedy. Laugh my, laugh my it ass wasn't off. intended. To that be. wasn't intended. It no, wasn't it needs to be a dark comedy. I, I'll say mine. Mine's the Evil Dead Two. You know, actually, yeah, that's no. a good one. Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the fucking Dead. Shaun of the Dead. All right, so we got three for Shaun of the Dead. We got Evil Dead Two, and we got House Two. House Two. All right. So another thing that we also have to talk about Six this movie: heads in a duffel bag. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that Joe the, that's Joe yeah. Pesci? Oh my God! I remember wow, that movie. Remember good, that. right? Good one. Yeah, good. I remember that, but no, no. So very, very bad outrageous. things. Yeah, very bad things. Yes. That is a good movie. That is. Have you ever seen that yes, one with Christian Slater? Yes. 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 That's. A, I would love to do that movie. You know the thing about nothing Almost but trouble. Anything with Christian Slater. So another thing about this movie is that the uh, amount of titles that it went through. Yes. First, yeah. First of all, the movie's called Nothing But Trouble. And the only thing that it I can see, Nothing But sense. Trouble. Well, it, it just went by the title. It went by a line in the movie when Demi Moore says, oh, you're nothing but trouble to Chevy Chase. Yeah, when she was. Yeah. She seemed like she was when drunk she was in, when she wanted it. Was I don't right? know. She was trying to make out with the, him. I couldn't figure the, out the fucking no, shit. No, yeah. no, yeah. no, no, no. She seemed no, like no, she no. was fucked up. And I'm like, did they fucking lace something in that fucking no, meal? Right? No. <laughs> I, she was horny as fuck. I can tell I you that because she was kissing up on Chevy Chase. Yeah. All right. So I'm fucked up enough to, to talk about this. Um, fucking <laughs> that character. <laughs> You're more than fucked up, dude. <laughs> That character? Um, uh, Which one? Demi's character. What the okay. fuck was her name? Uh, Demi Moore's character was Diane. Diane? Yeah. 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 No, she was. Um, she had a degradation kink. She was just degrading herself the whole fucking time, and she got a whole kinds of turned on. Yeah, no, she was. No, yeah. she was. She was. A, she. I'm sorry. She was a Mary Jane. Oh, she was I'm a so Mary naive. fucking Jane. Well, see, the I thing trust is. trust too easy. <laughs> what the fuck, Chase? <laughs> All right. So, hey, let, let's not judge him. It's 2022. <laughs> Let him come to terms with his feelings. All right. <laughs> so the movie, the movie titles that they have with this movie. Hey, you're uh, speaking into a mic, not Demi Moore's boobs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The movie titles that they have for this movie were uh, Git, mm -hmm. G-I-T, which what the fuck does that mean? What? Go on, get out of here. Go on, get. Go on, get. Is that, that what it means? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we had uh, Road to Ruin. Yep. See, and that, then was, we, that was all right. No, that no, no. A better see, one. I'm sorry, but no, my favorite title is coming up. Then we have Trick House, which kind of yep. reminded me of Fun House, you know, like the movie. Okay. And that's what it actually filmed, when, 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 you know, when it was, you know, uh, all right, so go over here to the Trick House set. And, yeah. You know, when it was actually being filmed, that's how they were referring it to uh, the way a lot of movies don't necessarily. It, it's just the the, the, the stand-in. But the what Dan Aykroyd calls this movie to this day still is Valkenvania. Yep. That, I okay. think that, that, that's the me, title that's something that, all of. That's the, mo that's the title it should have had in the first place because also they did, had an issue with the movie posters, and they had a really good movie poster by the same artist that did the uh, they, they vacation really movies. They really did. No, I saw that one. It was fantastic. I think they should have used that. I actually have that one, the one that is from the vacation movies, on our Instagram for our promo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I, I love the the... the that the was the deep one. cut posters that you you put for our fucking Instagram. Yeah, yeah I, I always look I, I for like I always try and find like a better art, like something yeah. more unique compared to what. Even what though a lot of them, I know you're just taking pictures of what you have because I can see the creases fucking you know, up and down. I have to. <laughs> I, I'm right. trying my like, best to make it look right, good. I mean, I, 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 I but let the, me uh, agree for but, authenticity, sir. Yeah. yeah, I love the point that when you're looking at the GPS at the beginning of the movie, you actually see not GPS, not GPS. It's not GPS. It's not. It it. It yeah, is an electronic it's mapping an system. It's an map. But yeah, it, 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 on the BMW? Yeah, it's not yeah. GPS. It's base, it, it is pre-programmed maps with dead reckoning. It's yeah. not GPS. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Is that really what it is? No. Okay. Yeah. 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 They, they did, they did but military. Yes. Now, what, what, would you guys, what would you guys For agree is, yeah. What would you guys agree is the best title for that? Do you think Valkovania would have been a better title? I love Valkovania, but I also understand why they didn't... Choose that. Well, it was I, a studio I, thing. Yeah, and because Dan Aykroyd would of, rather call it Volcavania. A lot of the uh, test audience and stuff like that, they're like they didn't know what the fuck, how to even to pronounce Volcavania. Um, let alone if you see that. Well, written. it was kind of like a Transylvania, you know, like yeah. type of you know yeah. horror thing. That's yeah. why the whole. Well, you think of Volcavania, you think of you don't think of a uh, Jersey. You don't think of Pennsylvania. You don't. Yeah, you don't. Th it, it I, I think of that, but but that's because. Well, I, you know, I know no, the whole the, the fucking the, the whole fucking coal thing, the whole with the yeah. uh, coals underneath, and that was actually based off of a real town in Pennsylvania. That happened. Well, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that was to this based day, it's still off, burning. Yeah. Yes, it is. And that was based off of uh, the other that horror. Oh fuck! I can't remember the goddamn name of the horror movie. Um. Oh. Shit. I don't know where you're going with this. Yeah, I don't either. Centralia. Yes, but it's it's a movie 
which was based off of a video game. So Silent Hill is, really? I figured it out, is literally is based uh, off yeah, of the, the film, Pennsylvania yeah. town that with the coal mining or the, the coal burning. The, yes. And, yeah, you're right. And the town was. in Pennsylvania is called uh, Centralia. A, I, I, think, I think it's Centralia. Well, the, the real town was Centralia. So now, yes. now I understand yes. why you say about the video. Yeah, game. You know, no, I yes. can, I can, I, yeah, I can see where the, okay. the, the so you're, you're starting it, to make it, those it, connections. It, you, you can kind of get some sort of... Uh, yeah recognition or reference to well then you might as well if you're trying to say that go something like rack you know resident evil films with raccoon city yeah but we're not talking about zombies at this point i know we're talking about coal so, mine burning you know but they don't talk about coal mine burning in the uh in, in resident evil you're talking about an abandoned town is what you're or not resident evil sorry um um no you, are. Hill. no you Silent are no you are they had co- you are coal mine no it was coal mines it was i, I do remember yeah because it was it, it i was just watched that movie recently yeah yeah, it was, why? it's an abandoned coal mine town whose the coal is the fires that burned underneath the okay. town. I'll have to take your word for it. It's been a w- long yeah, time. Yeah, so look it up, watch it again, and you'll understand the reference for it. Okay, I'll have to uh, recheck it out. They're 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 burning for X amount of years. Yeah. <laughs> what did you guys think of digital underground being? In the I loved it. The I best. Loved it. I Fucking loved awesome. it. I best. loved it. Naughty. Get my box on. Eat popcorn. Watch you move your body till the pops on. Fuck it. Two pops are cool. Baby. Baby first pop. ever movie in the. I mean, seriously. Did you guys? Did you? I, I'm just curious. When you guys saw this, did you know that was Tupac at the yes. first? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Some people don't. No. I, I've been an, a huge fan of digital underground. I felt like an asshole because life. I sat there and thought, is this like a young Wesley Snipes? No. Whoa, fucking- you go racist either, son of a bitch. There. All right. Hey, <laughs> but, hey, go Stu, to your Stu. corner. <laughs> Stu, let me ask go you to this. your corner. <laughs> Before Tupac started rapping with Digital Underground, what was he with Digital Underground? Um, I know he backup singer. He no, no, no. He started out as a, a fan, then they um had him become Almost like a roadie is probably the the best description I would yeah, say. Yeah, but no, but yeah, the thing is, he yeah. had his own little rapping sequence inside the music video. No, but no, so this, he did yeah, have no, a song. No, he did have a this line in there. Earlier, yeah, before yeah, yeah. that. Yeah. Um, no, because uh, uh, Pac was uh, a, a fan of Shock G and um, did an underground yeah. as a whole. Because uh, back then, it was very common for having on almost like ensemble groups i guess you would say it, it wasn't Kinda so much like about posse yeah it wasn't so much about one particular musician it was yeah. a group of bc boys all right it wasn't yeah. oh, you know wow. it isn't one right. in i completely person. forgot about the bc it's boys a group of people yeah um yeah. you know it, it was it was common that um nwa it wasn't one person Wait, it was did you did you see that people. in the music video nwa makes a cameo in it dr dre yeah and easy e yeah, they're yeah. both inside the fucking music video. Yeah, which the fucking music video I watched for the first time, and I didn't even realize Dan Aykroyd played like multiple roles. He played a fucking Arabian dude. He played a fucking guy yep. with a bagpipe. What the fuck was up with that? But the video was fucking great. It was early '90s fucking yeah. hip hop. I mean, it was great. Right. But and the thing is, to me, that was I, I. I loved the fact that 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 was the the probably the top of the old school hip hop you yeah. know that that yeah. was the peak to me of old school style hip hop did didn't one of them Which pass away nothing shock but heart g. and shock soul. g passed away yeah, yeah. shock g was a, a a literal musical genius yeah um people you know will remember him as humpty you know the big nose the humpty hump yes yep. Yep. um but that was just a character that he was playing he was a literal musical genius um he was able to play numerous numerous fucking instruments yeah um write different beats and different and you know, come up with different sounds same way flavor flavor everybody fucking thinks he's a goddamn idiot but he is a savant level musician yeah right. um uh, right. even though he's he may be fucking cracked out of his fucking gourd uh but no he can literally play fucking like 45 fucking instruments and just sit down hear a fucking goddamn song one time fucking n- no notes or anything that's and fucking play uh, that see, shit out to me that that's versus the old rappers back then yes versus today is the rappers today cannot play an instrument it, okay I, I will say yes but um there are i mean you, you got the mumble rappers and shit like that which to me, I'm just like mumble right, you're, rap you're, takes you're, no skill. All yeah, right? exactly. You're just following along with the fucking beat <laughs> exactly. and being you know half ass and shit like that. But then you have people like Eminem who has been 
uh, able to uh, continuously evolve his sound and evolve his game. Yeah. And well, you can tell that Eminem's changed a lot. Are we the- ignoring his cocaine phase? I don't give a fuck about his cocaine phase. <laughs> no, you're talking about the right, Eminem right, phase when he was in the I, Eminem I'm, album. I'm not, yeah, I'm not no. saying anything bad about Eminem, but the thing is, is Eminem is a lyricist. Yes. Eminem cannot he do can't. the beats and he, everything he, himself. He can't. But he, but with his vocal ability alone, he can't almost say like what the shit. No, no, but almost like the beats that he's able to produce well, a cappella almost by itself. All right, it's fucking amazing. No, no, I completely I mean, agree. It's steady. You could literally put a metronome at different timing and shit like that, and he's hitting that fucking spot. I mean, he's hitting fucking that, that, on. that head yeah. on, but yes, but he cannot do the beat himself. No, all right. No. But if you when you watch, but no, no, he nothing but create, trouble. He can create the beat, you know, through his lyrics alone, and then yes. have somebody come and put the yeah, actual yeah, instrument. Yeah. But the thing it. is, is with Digital Underground, when you watch nothing but trouble you actually see them on the drum set you actually yes. see them on the keyboard yeah, the keyboard yeah not, no not a beat pad no no you're not absolutely right the computer to me that takes more skill than pushing keys on the keyboard or you know not not, oh, I'm, no, I'm no, sorry, no, not no. keyboard but a laptop or a beat machine or anything like that it may how about, how about, how about Dan Aykroyd's little uh, pipe organ sequence no that was great. Yeah, that was great. That, that also but wasn't. That's what I'm you know, saying. Dan Aykroyd with, with, creating no, that it wasn't. Sound. But it, it was that funny. It's based but on that, a shock. G no, no. Fucking, but uh, it was you know, a good uh, sequence just, to show that because you see the other guy just who take his sunglasses yeah. like, whoa, what the fuck? He can play. Right. right. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying between the old school rappers and these new school rappers is that they actually use the instrument to get that beat instead of using yeah, a get studio that feeling. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I know not just a machine. And I, I, I agree with it, but also. Uh, even though Shock G was an amazing, amazing performer, I mean, musician, don't get me wrong, Digital wonderful. Underground is my top favorite. But a musical, but uh, but as far as Digital Underground goes itself, the uh, you know the character that he was embodying, uh, Humpty, um, NWA, he, yeah, he wasn't NWA. No, that's okay. the wrong. Yeah, I, I'm that? sorry, I would take NWA that? over Digital Underground. Mm, no, I, I'm sorry. I would go as with the far as Easy E and fucking no, no, Dr. Dre no, Ice no, Cube uh, for rap. For for rap, yeah, or yes. more of gangster rap. For rap, Digital I Underground agree. wasn't gangster rap. That yeah. was no, more no, hip hop no, party rap. No. Exactly. I wouldn't yeah. even say gangster hip-hop. rap. The yeah. thing with NWA is NWA was actually from the streets. Yeah. Not saying that gangster rap or anything about new age rap or anything like that, but NWA. And just underground NWA, they did what they knew. But then they knew. But but based on your own argument, then you're, are you saying Snoop Dogg isn't a great fucking goddamn? No, musician? Snoop, Snoop Dogg, Dogg is I a mean, genius. Snoop yeah. Dogg is a genius. He's but from the streets. He, he's not fucking playing goddamn fucking the, the well, song. See, the himself. thing about Snoop Dogg, he's not, he he creates the lyrics and then is able to figure out the sounds that go with it and has the actual musicians put lay down the fucking you know the track behind them. Okay, yeah. So- uh, Either way we're going, we're we're forgetting the the big part. Tupac was the one that was in here from Digital Dun- yeah. Underground. He had a completely different style from all the other OGs. All of them had a completely different style. If you listen, Tupac, to, uh, Tupac, to, Tupac was so much more down to earth and more and heart deep. Uh, yes, he had Tupac so was, much yeah, more, no, the Tupac, more heart uh, than RIP, anybody else. His 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 beats and sounds were po- literal poetry yeah they absolutely, they, they you know absolutely you know were poetry but every every artist on digital underground had their own style and the, the what made them wonderful was how seamlessly they were able to blend oh, those absolutely, styles the, absolutely. the thing with me is is don't get me wrong i love digital underground but to me that was happy rap yeah all right when tupac left Digital underground and became tupac shakur that's when he became okay, the Tupac yeah. that I know that that talks, you know, when when he talks when when you say mm-hmm. the heart and soul and stuff like that. No, absolutely. To me, just on the ground, happy rap. You know uh, what? Only, let's have fun, see, let's party and all I, that. But I'm then when disagree. Tupac became Tupac, he talked about real shit. He talked about Brenda having a baby. Hell Mary, my mother raised me all on her own. Yeah, Machiavelli. You but did not hear that did, no, in no, no, Digital no. Underground. 
it no, may have been more focused right. on, uh, on during his stuff. But if you actually start thinking about the actual words, you take away that the upbeat tones that Digital Underground was laying down. Uh, no, no, you start like sex packets. All right, sex packets, a dollar or two sex packets. How many for you? It's talking about the commercialization and the separation of the actual act and become a, a a more of a just you know we're just gonna go ahead and sell this shit right. and, and right. it was more of right. a trip Let, let's but sell it, this once, shit. no right. but it, but in, it so was once more you start commercial. once you start actually thinking about it and and how depressing that actually could be so and stuff like that I and tearing that down i know where you're coming all right from, but, but they were selling up. it in, a, in, in an upbeat tone and telling a yeah. fucked up story right right so right. for people who but no, 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 no. But. So people from the from the rock side, from the rock or hip so, hip hop side would uh, would know what you're talking about with like uh, Owl City. Yes. Really w- uh, upbeat tones, but the lyrics are fucking dark exactly. as shit. No, I know exactly what Bill was talking about with uh, Tupac Shakur when he went broke off on his own. Yes. He is what gave rise to Eminem. Eminem style. Eminem style was completely based off of two shows. Yeah, oh, absolutely. absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely, and I this give him the love and the respect for shit like that. That's why I, you know, <laughs> and the fact that even in the credits they, you know, they list Tupac as the number two and P A C, and so instead of being T U P A C, um, the way he actually is, it, yeah. it actually showed a kind of a separation of. Boy, he changed. He changed to his own because he went to his own no, self and he went he, solo. No, he, right. no, no, he didn't. He just became more focused on and because e- even when he was part of his underground, anytime he would get the you know get the fucking mic handed to him and shit like that, he was still spitting straight poetry. Yeah, you know, yeah. out of his fucking he was mouth. A poet I mean, he, he was. Else. He, yes, he was a poetry, a lyricist, or whatever. But the thing is, is not to dump anybody down or anything. But when you're listening to the rap, all right, and then you got this upbeat and everything, I mean, yeah, it, it, you know, it might be dark lyrics, but when you hear that upbeat tone, you're not listening to what they're saying. It, it wasn't until that, Tupac. That one, yeah, it's, it, it's, it wasn't it, until Tupac became Tupac Squad when he became on his own that not only did the dark lyrics come out, but the dark tone of the music came out. Yes. But and that's think, when you really started listening but, to it. Uh, yeah, it, it I was think it's because like, of that tonality man. that uh, came with what he was putting at that made people recognize. The same time, you know, at you know, at Biggie, of course, you know, coming from the East Coast. Oh, I and love Biggie. What yeah. what he yeah, was putting yeah, out yeah, yeah. Um, at the same time, he was also a wonderful poet and was yes. able to tell amazing fucking stories through his fucking songs. But the tonality shifted uh, when you well, know th- there's the a whole frame. fight between who's the better uh, poet is uh, Biggie and uh, Tupac because Biggie only came out with a couple albums, but Tupac has got probably over like twenty or thirty albums of underground shit and everything else he was smart at what he said he had a lot of poetry he put a lot of heart into all his music biggie was the exact same thing because he was also on the streets of you know yeah. of uh, new york uh, i i think uh uh brooklyn yeah. brooklyn Bronx. Yeah. yeah can you see the story yes you can yes absolutely any uh, say that's why i really loved fucking digital underground and it spoke to me and i, I will say that they were the top of old school Hip hop. They were they they were the, the 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 best of the best of old school hip hop because not only that if you took away the raps the, the beats that they were fucking laying down the tones that they were fucking laying down was the epitome of just flowing through your fucking veins of joy. I mean, yes, uh, that's but then once you, but I'm I'm talking but, about. But I I cannot separate Tupac from digital underground because he was such a huge contributing member especially during their peak he was a major contributing he member. was he uh was. so the same way shock g was same way uh, other artists were but and to me sock g sock g was digital underground because he was the front man right he was the front right. man absolutely with the character that he embodied uh but uh we, we, going based on what chase's points was talking about rock and talking about different things and being able to tell stories through upbeat tones that still continues to this day um even as recently as uh pumped up kicks all right that is a very 
fucking catchy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's a super catchy fucking song, and most people don't even actually it's pay about attention. School shooting. Exactly. Right. It right. is for a super popular quote unquote fucking song about goddamn school yeah. fucking shootings when all you actually kids listen to like better, yeah, run baby kids run. better run baby run outrun my gun <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. that's that that's the thing with today's society is they don't they they listen to music they don't hear the music see i i i i know what you're saying but i, I i'm gonna write they hear the music but they're not listening they're not listening I, I, I get you on that i get you on the that. music all right, so let's go ahead and go into our pint reviews of the uh, movie of Nothing But Trouble. That was an interesting argument that we had Sorry. there. <laughs> I've been talking about this fucking goddamn episode for fucking weeks. Come just on, Digital I, Underground I've had Tupac. a full fucking show for fucking Digital Underground <laughs> for a long fucking time. Well, you got your point out. So, yeah. Ragnar, what is your pint reviews for uh, Nothing But oh, Trouble? Oh, shit. All right, so go you ahead. have to only rate it as a film, as a. I can't rate it because film. of the people. Oh, so you're gonna that give this a. F- yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm. Until it's my turn, I. I'm know. really curious what yours is. All right, so, as a film, as opposed to what else? Nostalgia, just straight Heathers. enjoyment. All right. All you know, right. Just as a film as See, a when you film. go it like that man it just hey, makes a that, that's what we need to change. fucking yeah. rate our shit on no, i know no, it's just, right that's he's why right. i gave one hour fucking five goddamn pints because as a film because it is goddamn perfect that is a beautiful movie but when you think about it, is that going to be in your fucking goddamn all right well you know what that might my my, it's my pipe review ch- my pipe review change all right so go ahead what is it oh how many pints of beer do you give this movie <laughs> <laughs> yeah how many pints of beer do I give it, or how many pints of beer would you drink to it? Do I drink to it? Well, Snow would give it a zero. <laughs> yes, she would. Or she'd give it like a 40, because that's how many pints of beer she'd have to fucking drink to enjoy it. <laughs> right. Would that be with you with split second? Yeah, it would. Right, no, I don't so know this enough one... fucking beer on the earth for me to enjoy split second. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm going to give it a... It's hard, a isn't it? Film. Shit. As a as a film. film. All right, as a film. Oh, shit. <laughs> exactly. Fuck, it's so goddamn hard. Yes. It, it, it's one of those, it's so stupid, but it's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but in a way, I almost want to give like two pint reviews, like a nostalgic review and a film review. So <laughs> I, I might even say a nostalgic review, an well, enjoyment review. Enjoyment maybe, review, yeah. Versus yeah, an actual yeah, film yeah. review. I'm going to give it, I All already right. got, I already have it in, in mind. Right, so so yeah. a film review, I would give it a two and a half. Okay, that's fair. So you're right in the middle. Because there's... <laughs> it, the, the, the fucking film is stupid. It makes no goddamn sense. Yeah. But it's so good. Oh, Idi- yeah. Id- idiocracy was so much better than this. Why do we keep going back to idiocracy? Because it's never going to end. another absurdist film that we've done. Yes. Oh, I know. Yeah. I love and, I, and, and that film made oh, it was so much fucking better than this. But you mm-hmm. can't compare stupid to real stupid Bull fucking shit. Yes, you, yeah, you can. can. Say, yeah. Master oh, of yes, disguise. Can. That's a know. right. Master of disguise. <laughs> so I'll give pearl, this one. Pearl, All right, pearl. Master of Disguise was some bullshit. No, that was a great movie. Oh my god. All right, so got two and a half. Two and a half sir. from a film view. So from a film view. Eternal <laughs> nostalgic view. I'll give it a three and a quarter. Or enjoyable view. You mean? A, yeah. Three and a quarter. Okay, three how about- and a quarter for an enjoyable view because it's it. Oh man, is this how, what we're gonna do? Are we gonna start it, doing two different pint reviews for, for this, this one? We're gonna have to. I guess just for this one. The norm because that's what I. Th- well, no, you started this whole I, fucking I started, shit. No, no that's you that, started it. That's what I told you. That's what I told you. That's what we're for going GMT? to So I mean, would you get? Yeah, I would give a nostalgic view of a three. Okay, so two and a half and a three. Yeah, it's. Stupid funny. All right. How about you, Stu? All right. Um, if we're going just straight on film review, I'm going to go I'm gonna go two. Okay. All right. The, That's fair. Um, Chevy and Demi's particular acting was very, very bad. It, it really was. It was very wooden and phoned in, and you could really tell neither one of them was invested in their character. Yeah. Um, the writing wasn't great. Uh, I thought it was smart. I mean, I thought it was. I, it was, I thought it was creative. Some uh, Dan Aykroyd's yeah. lines were very good. Uh, well, well, the, the but, fact the fact that he 
all right, I have to bring this up because I didn't bring it up earlier in the show. I'm mm-hmm. sorry to interrupt you. That he got this because he actually got pulled over in a town like this. Yes. And to the point where it was actually, he had to get a ticket and everything um, through a kangaroo uh, jury, basically. Okay, and so he the whole pulled- definition of a kangaroo jury is... Um, so he was pulled over and he tried to pay the fine on the spot. Yeah. And the officer told him that that's not how it works. Though. Well, this is what a kangaroo jury a kangaroo jury is. An unofficial court field by a group of people in order to someone regarded, especially without good evidence, as guilty of crime of a misdemeanor. That is a kangaroo jury. That's what he basically based so this film off entail? of. Basically, um, you've already been decided guilty like before the, the hearing. They okay. already decided. Okay. And they're just listening to, they're just following through the motions, and it doesn't matter what fucking evidence you present, okay. you're guilty. Yeah. Good to know. All right, so so what would you give this for enjoyable view? Uh, enjoyability, um, I'm going to give this like a three and three quarters. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. I'm a little shocked by that. Yeah. Um, I, I wasn't expecting that. I enjoy that. absurd humor. Yeah. I really do. <laughs> the, uh, the, yeah. the, the the randomness that fucking happens throughout this fucking film Um the, the first time you see Bone Stripper, the first time you see Eldana, um, fucking seeing Digital Underground just fucking randomly show up. Fucking uh, shaking hot dogs it, inside the mouth yeah. of Dan Aykroyd. And then the fact that it started out <laughs> as seeming like a nice, you know, Penis potential nose. love Penis story nose. between Chevy and Demi. Yeah. Um, and then how how quickly it turned that 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 storytelling on his fucking head. Yeah. Um, it. it you know, it, it, there's a lot of enjoyability baked into this film, and it makes me sad that Dan Aykroyd basically decided never to really was never either he decided never to direct again, or he was never given the opportunity. No, to I, I think it was the other way around. He was he decided he wasn't going to direct again. He thought it was too stressful and everything else yeah. with everything that went like, on. Well, but, with given, I mean, he's doing what three or four different roles. Yeah. yeah. Or well, no, two. He, he, yeah. He, well, you the know, thing is, he was originally, like I said, he was originally supposed to be Chevy Chase's writer, character. You know, co-writer, yeah. director, um, two acting spots, and producer. Right, so that's you what, got five, five fucking five roles. Right there. Yeah. Five fucking I mean, roles. I mean, that he was and smart, also have yeah. to be in some yeah. hear, heavy makeup yeah. and everything else and stuff like that. Right. Body that's suits. completely understandable, though. Yeah. And, but I, I do enjoy... Uh, you know, even though at the time it was kind of weird uh, as far as letting the actors kind of feed into their own stuff, letting the the staff have you know input into what was going on. Yeah, um, that was that, that that wasn't happening at the time, but it it happens a lot now. You're seeing a lot of more stuff happening. People, you know, long form you know uh, long form storytelling in television shows. You're seeing how many actors actually directing their own fucking shows yeah. now, episodes and stuff like that because. Because they're invested, they're, everybody's now becoming uh, you know a jack of all trades uh, situation. Um, so it may have been a, ahead of its time a little bit, um, and that's why I think if if Dan Aykroyd had more opportunities or uh, didn't feel so beat down after the the flop, unfortunately that this was. Um, it was said that it was a flop too because yeah. yes it was but it's gained a it's gained a cult status that's yeah. the thing it's gained a lot of fans and it's gained a lot more recognition compared to what it was back in the 90s yeah so how about you Bildo? to me the storyline everything like that i give it i give it a two storyline is a two so that you would go by film view be a two film view would be a two so what would be for your enjoyment but view to my enjoyment i would give it four four and a half oh wow oh, fuck. whoa oh, that is extreme only because four and a half is I'm the kind of person that if it's going to make me laugh, yeah, I'm up there because it, it, it takes a lot to make me laugh. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm the kind of person if it's so stupid but it's going to make you laugh, I'm loving it. I'm loving exactly, it. I'm loving it. Yeah, you know, I mean, the stupider it is, the funnier it is to me. Yeah, and if I'm laugh, I'm enjoying myself. You know, like they say, laughter is joy. So if I'm laughing. I'm enjoying it, so that's why I give it that such a high rating. Okay, no, that, that that's your uh, that's your opinion, Chase. How about you, buddy? From enjoyment Wake up over there, I'm awake. I'm just fucked up. Um, enjoyment view and in and uh, film view. Enjoyment's a three and a half. Uh, yeah, three and a half. Film oh, view two. That's it. Yep. That's all you're gonna say. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> It was just such a confusion. 
It, it was it was you a pointless really plot. You really fucking confused the shit out of him right there. <laughs> the man, <laughs> you really the, did. The, the manifold fucked him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> that switch. That yeah, fucking yeah. toggle switch. <laughs> uh, uh, like I said, this is exactly what Chase feels like. Hey, maybe I've been keeping up on current events, but we just got our asses kicked, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's you right that's there. That's funny because I was watching that fucking movie earlier today. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to talk about how enjoyable it was to see uh, one of the Baldwin brothers get shredded. Yeah, Fat yes. Baldwin, that was. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, fuck, yeah. All right, yeah. so I'm going to go ahead and give my review. Um, so this is what I think about this movie here. I think... I think for a film view, it's one and a half. Okay. It is horribly stupid movie. It, Dan Aykroyd, you know, he had fun with it, but the movie, the plot was nowhere. It was very confusing. It wasn't a well-made movie, but I thought that the sets and everything else I thought was great. I thought that they designed the sets with the amount of budget they had because they kept going over budget and everything else. But Back the, to the sets. When you were a kid amazing. or anything, when you saw... That junkyard. Oh yeah! How awesome would it would have been? And no, and the thing to is just that sit there and play in that junkyard. Well, the right? problem is, you know, that I mean, not yeah. the problem. The thing is about Dan Aykroyd is that they actually a lot of the stuff that he's inside the fucking uh, courtroom and everything else was actually stuff that he owned. So, and also the fucking, you know, that part when they're running away and you see those big ju- uh, Paul Bunyan's statues yes. all over the place. Yeah, they're like holding the tires along that. Yeah, alley. no, I thought that was actually really great. Now, if I were to go for a uh, enjoyment view, I will say this flat out. I think this movie is a fucking four. It's a fucking four. I, I fucking love this movie, even though it is a stupid movie. It's enjoyable. I had so much fun with it. I never get bored of it. I watch this all the time, and people tell me, why the fuck do you watch that stupid movie? Because I fucking enjoyed it. It made me laugh. I had fun with it. I love to laugh. Yes, they are. So There's a lot of nostalgia there, I'm thinking. Oh, Oh, yeah. So, anyways, guys, thank you for joining us for our BAF episode of Nothing But Trouble. I think this was a very... You guys had fun with this one, guys. Absolutely. Yes. Hell yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you everybody, for joining us. Thank you for joining us for our show, and uh, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Love, everybody. Love, we love you. Good night. Good night. Who the fuck did that? Was that Chase? Was that Chase? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, this is Ron. Thank you for listening to our podcast, Barrel Age Flicks. We are excited to kick off the new year with upcoming episodes of BAF, The Small Batch, Sammy Selects, and The Tasting Room. If you like our show, please leave a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts. Guys, this helps out enormously. Give us a follow on Instagram at Barrel Age Flicks Podcast. If you would like to send us a special film request, please contact us via Instagram and we will give you a personal shout out on the show. Our podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Anchor, Audible, Pocket Cast, Spotify, CastBox, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. Special thanks to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio on YouTube for his awesome music. This guy fucking rocks. Check him out. Hope you join us for our next episode. Later, guys.